Hey, what's going on, everybody? Another edition of Big Word Little Thought. Colton Hunt on your left. What's or, up? Maybe that's your right. I don't know anymore. I don't know how it works. And out. I'm Keith Yap. And joining us in the middle here, uh, I guess longtime listener, first time caller. <laughs> First time call. <laughs> you could say. Jenny Wood, our esteemed special guest. In the uh, house. <laughs> in the house? Hell yeah. In Colton's mm-hmm. house, actually. Yeah. This is true. Damn, I just wanted to dox your address just then. <laughs> I don't know your address. That's good. Good. You can't <laughs> dox it. So <laughs> everything is safe. Mm. Now I'm confused. That's yours. I'm That's right-handed. Yours. Yep. She's got, the, she's right got the rebel, you directly yell. in front of me. Yeah, Colton's sponsored by Yerba Mate now. Because uh, he, They're very tasty. It's all he, in the drink. He held. <laughs> he held. I love how unfocused. It didn't focus. <laughs> just didn't focus, dude. You held up a uh, delivery driver of yerba mate at Grubs. I really kind of did this this evening. Was it today? No, it was yesterday. Oh, yesterday. The day before. I don't even remember. The day is oh, all. It might have been today. That's why all those cops were there. <laughs> it no, could have been today. <laughs> could have been. But yeah, I just uh, I got out of my truck and I told him what. Like, one like I was angry. You know, uh, you always look angry, but yes. Yeah, I always. That's how I drive with a fat lip. Me <laughs> listening to some forty one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like uh, I was going to say, Lincoln Park. Good Charlotte. Oh my god. Rip. But yeah, he's just like you've never had these before, like because he he asked me, I asked him, was he wearing plaid? No, he was just he was like a true like stagehand, all black. Oh f- hell yeah, all my black. man. All black. Because like I feel like this type of drink because it's like a tea. You know, yeah, it's definitely a hipster drink. You know what I'm saying? It's very good. It is super good. I had one earlier, and now I'm bouncing off the walls. <laughs> we Wait, fast. is it supposed to give you energy, energy too? Yeah, yeah it's like a energy. cup of coffee. It's yeah, it's like a cup of coffee. Let me see. Give me the fucking can. <laughs> it's like a cup of coffee. Yeah, Colton's uh, for all you people's very good. <laughs> You're Shamelessly me. plugging Very this good. stupid Here, drink. Yeah, <laughs> she is going to abuse. We're, we're that getting now. a bell. We're getting her a bell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Change <laughs> my loincloth. <laughs> we can't have Ginny back now. Okay. Oh, okay. She's 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 overruled me. Whatever. She's a center. She's a center of attention. Discriminating the against you. The camera likes her more. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm her butler in my house. You asked me. I to, did. I yeah. did. Yeah. I know it sucks to hold a drink the whole time you're talking. So. I don't give a fuck. Oh, you were talking about the drink still? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Now everybody can see us bomb. Anyways. Like, that's the best. <laughs> oh, Anyways. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Take control. Fast. Fuck yeah. Um, that's good. No, I think, what was it? I mean, how, many, how long have you listened to the podcast um for a while and how long do you listen? Yeah. <laughs> there you go I, I literally listen to the end like y'all have me dead ass cracking up i think what y'all started in like 2019 yeah something, something like that right. i think I started that's something right that's what I, said. <laughs> I think i started she listening. said one thing right today i think it was like middle of last year I okay guess. okay um we started getting to the heavy topics yeah but y'all's favorite episode that you've done, my favorite episode, is the HP Lovecraft. <laughs> she knew our favorite episodes. Oh, but which gonna... one is y'all's favorite episode? Do you have oh, one? Oh, no. You said, wait, hold on. Is Before the... we go to that, uh, yeah, you yeah, said yeah. yours was HP Lovecraft? We yeah. phoned that well, shit in. Yeah. I love that just because I love horror and shit like that. trying to grab her drink because it's to the right. Don't be drinking my drink. <laughs> Do you self censor? Yeah, I was over here trying to what make a professional. I was trying to make loud slurp drink noises, and she's like, "Hey, don't drink my drink, dog." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need. I'm telling you, the soundboard thing needs to happen, dude. So it would be. Have the it looks noise. like she's scratching my back, but Leo. Leo I wish I could just, just sit here with the Leo. soundboard. Leo, Leo just go on, up. man. He he's, loves me. Yeah, because he's horny. That's it. <laughs> He tried to hump he Colton's is. dad earlier. He tried to hump me too. Man, I've seen that, him. That boosted my ego real well, well. Well, Colton, you know, let him finish. But he's he's an animal, okay? And a <laughs> <laughs> Hey, do you want to be a part of this conversation? You're interrupting something. I mean, just valuable just ignore, broadcasting. I'm, I'm no gonna ignore him. him. I'm gonna ignore him. Yeah, you did. The you made the rookie error that I made. Touching him. Yeah, you touch yeah. him once, and he's. <laughs> oh my god. He's, he wants to be a part of the party from that point forward. So the HP Lovecraft is your favorite one? Uh, well, yeah, my favorite episode that y'all done. Nice. I, I really like the. Um, it. Uh, yeah, everything y'all talk about, I can really relate with, and just sit there and like enjoy oh, listening to. Like, mm-hmm. Some people just sit there and talk about stuff that's just stupid. 
Let this woman talk without she your is. fucking stupid no, no. interjections. Because it's Colton's over here in the <laughs> camera. <laughs> it's gonna record me like waving. Yeah, yeah. Look, there it is. I'm with it. That's good. Now she sees yeah, it. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying. Yeah, HP Lovecraft. You you can relate. All right, cool. Whatever. <laughs> good talk. Uh, I don't know what Colton's favorite episode is because he hates everything. Did we you do, say what yours was? No, but I'm putting him on the spot All first. Right, yeah, what's your favorite? So episode? to to get he's the host to get nerdy. <laughs> Get on nerdy. I think my favorite one has been the Goggins one. Just because it's surprisingly still pulling views. Nice. I get email notifications of what like is still getting listened to. Uh-huh. And every week it gets like one more view. It's like three. Three this week. Four. And it goes like back to like two. But this normally the last two episodes are always the ones getting get the views. Most. Yeah. But then Goggins just came up out of nowhere. So people <laughs> people are like listening to that one. It's so. gotta be like people like uh Finding it on the internet yeah, or something. Yeah, just right? typing in David Goggins yeah. and podcast or whatever, and obviously Joe Rogan's <laughs> comes up first. I don't know how many then, podcasts he's been on. So y'all can't uh, down yourself like that, though. What if people are legitimately like searching y'all and enjoying y'all's episodes? I mean, it's true. That's possible. Yeah, there's like uh, a handful of them. <laughs> I think my favorite episode. Sorry, I didn't mean to uh, interrupt myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm getting better at this. Uh, <laughs> Is either the Holy Land, <laughs> H W H O L E Y Land? Was it not W H? I thought I just did oh, Holy yeah, with an E. Holy I, with an E. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was Holy with an E. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That one or um, I was like never, Hole with I with a W forget. or a group of iguanas is called a slaughter. That one was funny. That was like the last one before we stopped for a while. Yeah, we took the the hiatus. For we a got minute. depressed. Well, yeah, we did. Like, simultaneously, it's not... like it's like women with periods with us. Okay, I feel I, I get that. I get that. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're relatable. relatable. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. No. Um, that's, Soundboard yeah, the holy, moment. The whole definitely the Holy Land is just because it was super funny, you know, and kind of good points were made, but also you know it's just I like bashing people. Yeah. I just like making fun of people most yeah. of the time. I feel like we're just really going to, like, for the first little bit of this episode, just going to abuse, like, Jenny's viewpoint on trying to figure out what people think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The podcast. No, we're not. No, it's just like a guinea pig. Do, like, do you prefer it when we speak on serious matters, or is it the comedic matters? Please respond. Uh, comment down below. <laughs> yeah, yeah comment down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. If you're watching this video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, my God. Smash that like button. The worst thing to do on a video, I think, in my opinion. Smash, smash, smash that Anything like other button. than, hey, give us a like, or, hey, hit the like button. If you say smash or hammer or any, oh, God. I watch this that guy that says, um, won't you samurai slash that like button for me, and it kills me every time. Who I just want to end the whole YouTube There's like a, who just is close that? out of the app. Yeah, fucking dox him. Who does that? <laughs> um, that is Corey Kenshin on Twitch. He Kenshin? Play, Corey Kenshin. He plays like a horror video game, so I watch him shit. So he's like a Roroni Kenshin fan. Uh, it has to be. I don't even Definitely has to know, has but to be. whatever. Yeah. Kenshin. Do you even know what that is? Eyes? No. Okay. No. It's, all, uh, it's, it's Corey cool. Kenshin. K E N. Well, you like oh, anime, don't you? Yeah, but I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's like a classic anime. Yeah, that's what, like what that's up there with it? like Samurai Champloo. I don't well, I don't like certain animes. Like I don't want I don't like Attack on Titan. Yeah. It's I don't too like sad. I just don't like the animation. It's got to be a certain type for me to Do You actually, like Cowboy Bebop? Yes. Have you yes. watched those? Samurai Champloo is like the same what? people. What would you say? I'm what? <laughs> yeah, we are we are finished. <laughs> we're we're cross you listen to me. We're cross examining you and it's listen bad. To me. Okay. You have you seen Berserk? No. Okay, that's a good one too. That's is that Berserk's on old too. Uh, I watched yeah, most of mine on Hulu and Netflix. It's on Hulu, definitely. And I think it is on Netflix now. Have and y'all seen The Promised Neverland? Nah, I don't oh watch anime much. Oh my god. That just came out last year. It is fire. I finished the whole season in uh, one day. What's it called? Uh, the Promised Neverland. Oh, so it's like a Michael Jackson documentary? <laughs> 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 Animated? No, it's not. Yeah. Hopefully not. <laughs> It's really cool, but the second season is in Japanese, so if you're not into just watching the subtitles and shit, then don't. Fuck oh, I'm, I'm with Don't watch it until the second 100%. season comes out in English. All right, cool. <laughs> I, you know, I actually prefer subbed over dubbed. I actually feel like I sometimes understand what they're saying. Like, I know that sounds weird to say. <laughs> 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 oh, man, that's, that's funny. Wakitashimo. 
This is the second podcast in a row that we've done Asian accents and impressions. Uh, <laughs> Y'all are good. Jesus, that's Korean. <laughs> Y'all are good. I, can't even I know my dialect. I swear well, to God, mine would man. be so awful. Yeah, no, it's uh, anime is so weird for me because like it either has to be super brutal. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, have you? Oh, just like Berserk. Yeah. Or uh, have you seen Gantz? Mm-mm. Oh, I've, I man. think I've seen that on Netflix. Though, yeah. Like okay. A so that's it. that's a hyper realistic animation yeah. movie uh-huh. of the series, and it like combines all this shit into one movie. But I read the manga for it, and I bought the you know the the fucking seasons yeah, of it, yeah, yeah. and the move they made like two movies of it, hmm. and it's fantastic. What's the I'll one? On, what's it. the one on Netflix? Gantz, Gantz Zero. Gantz Zero. Yeah. yeah Keith turned me on to Gantz. Parasite's pretty I good. Watched Parasite. Oh my god, go I, watch I, I that two fucking night. Anime is. I, I have to be in a weird ass mood to get an anime. Oh, but it's so cool. I, I don't even tell you. It's strange. What was it that me and you like watched where everyone Eva- Evangelion? Oh, Evangelion. Neon, in, there you go. Neon oh Genesis. I don't know what gosh. that is. I liked it. It's on Netflix now. But it was so frustrating. It's, I think it's still is on. Is that Netflix. an anime too? It's old. It's anime. old. Yeah, like it's like the same age as like it's. I think it's older than Bebop. It's older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, I haven't really just like It's close to Akira style. Yeah, it's like real old school hand yeah. drawn. Oh. It's fantastic. But it's also super fucking It hurts your brain. Yeah. I have to watch it. When, I'm, wh- I'm about to spoil it. But when you figure out that it's sentient, that it's organic, it's not just mech. Okay, you're not gonna completely spoil it then. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. good. I was about to be so <laughs> but pissed. The thing is not just mech, it's not like a Gundam, you know what I mean? I was like yeah, I like blew your mind. Colossus. Yeah, you fucked me up with that. I don't fuck you. <laughs> Showing me all these stupid. Dude, I shows. also showed him Hereditary, which is. Oh my god! Don't even. Get all right, hold on. Time out, time out. Okay. Oh, I knew that Quit. was going to start. Stop. A fire. Stop. You're going to start something that you cannot finish. All right, I'm going to I'm going to be lenient with the question, but top three favorite scary movies. Okay. This okay. No, no, no. Yeah, we have this? to do that. How about this? Okay. How about this? Number one. No, no, no. Different questioning. <laughs> Different line of questioning, Judge. Your Honor. Continue. All right. What's your favorite modern movie, modern horror movie? Okay. I like this better. Yeah. What's your favorite modern horror movie? Uh, my favorite modern horror movie would be... Oh, I didn't like that little breath I took in the mic. Yeah, it'll, 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 it'll pick up. Yeah, it'll pick up. <laughs> um, we don't edit the podcast. Oh God. Yeah, we really don't. <laughs> so unless you don't, ever unless edit you like anymore. royally <laughs> screw up somehow, <laughs> I'm not gonna. You edit say it. like a hardcore racial slur that's not funny. We're not gonna edit okay, it. I guess I'm gonna get canceled. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, breathing. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna say either. Can I can I do it either or? Do I have to pick? So it's it's, it's always an either or. God, it's, it's your but life. I'm having such a struggle between Hereditary and um. Why am I drawing a blank here? What's the other one that Ari came out with? Midsummer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you like Midsummer I, equally? I didn't. I, it's not about the horror for me in that one. It's about the psychological shit. Like I had to watch that movie like three or four times. Likewise, it's yeah. It was definitely more hereditary of a psychological in the same thriller. effect though. But when that girl got her head knocked off, it literally like I sat there. And, Spoiler. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, no, I, oh, I'm sorry. it's been out for more than a year. Spoilers well, it's don't been more it, out for more than four years. Now. Yeah. If it's, if it's more than a year, no, no spoilers. But literally, I, I sat there. I was like. Oh yeah. I was like, do I drive home or does he? Did when? you see did you <laughs> see it in theaters? No. See, me and Cody went to see it in theaters. And Oh, Cody, me and Cody talked about that on Twitter. Like oh, we had a whole lot of discussion about thing. it. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> we when it happened, I remember sitting there and I felt like nauseous. Like I I've never seen a, that was the weirdest way to drink water. <laughs> I, did it, I did it on <laughs> purpose. I did it on purpose. <laughs> and uh I remember that was the only horror movie I've ever watched where I felt that feeling. I don't even know what yeah. to call it. But I was like, mm, no. And what was so bad about it wasn't what happened to her. It was seeing how he reacted to what happened to her. Because I'm like, I could see someone doing that. Like I could that s- shutting down. I could see somebody just being like, Are you Are you okay? <laughs> no. 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 Nothing's okay and you just He's back on the gas. He went home and, and went to home. bed. He went I'm, home and went to bed. I'm definitely gonna bring that up later when we get into the actual topic because that's very. Uh, I think that's a very. It's a good analogy. Yeah, very good um, analogy. But good job, me. <clears throat> wait, fuck yeah, dude! When Colton showed me that movie, we're at my the apartment <clears throat> on Arlington, and With is the, the it's the only yeah, fuck yeah, and it's the only horror movie that has ever 
like made me white knuckle. Yeah. Like actually. I watched him do yeah, it. He was actually, like leaned over. It really like, is just hurting hard. myself. Like I was like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> and because it wasn't pre, it, like the advertisements, it was not a horror, no. horror movie like it is. You know they what didn't show anything like that. Like when that woman was like stabbing her That's, neck oh, no, and that no. noise. You mean oh, wire sawing her no, neck? God. Cut it. Oh man. Cut I it. forgot all about that. piano wire. Was it piano? I, thought, I can't I remember. I thought it was knives. With knives. She was decapitating herself. I know, but I thought it was with knives. <laughs> Might have been. Look at me over here. Yeah, <laughs> that's fuck, that's a great reenactment, honestly. <laughs> what real? I think I've seen it so many times. But no, no, no. That woman had up. three <laughs> scenes. Oh, you, you continue. I'll say what I'm going to say. Tony Collette that. is one of the badass She's bad awesome, actress. awesome. Um, the scene where they find the grandmother's corpse. In the attic. In the attic with all the symbols, all, you know, the Pyman symbol. I can symbol. smell it from, yeah, like, God. the TV screen. Damn, man, for sure, dude. Like, that movie stuck with me. He hardcore. jumped out the window, though. He was like, I could go back downstairs or I'm finna jump out the window. And this man jumped out the window. Yeah, and then the spirit or the possession. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was too, weird man. seeing dude in the, in the closet, me? though. That was dope. So, the scene where... I think it's close to that one where yeah. the dude just wakes up. Like, it's close to the end of the movie. Okay. Where the dude just wakes up, and you see the mom, like, float, f- float swim Jesus out of the room. That, t- uh, oh, when she's in the, on the ceiling? When she's possessed. Yeah, but, but, but before she, yeah, before she's, like, trying to get to him when he's in the attic. Before all that. Yeah. But when... She's just he, spying on him. Yeah, he just wakes up, and she's just, like, up in the corner. That is one of the creepiest things ever. And, Ever. Mm-mm. Yeah, and it, it didn't even, it, there was no music. Nothing. There was nothing. So, you know, most of the time they add some creepy music, and that makes something way scarier than it actually I is. I don't think I saw her at first. A lot of people didn't. I didn't. A lot of people didn't. I didn't see her at first. I learned. I think I rewound it like four or five times. I learned after, I don't remember which horror movie it was I watched, to check corners. Because oh, yeah. people that do jump scares, it's yeah. almost always starting somewhere, yeah. and then it comes up. Yeah. Uh, so I, I saw her. I saw something. You know, you mm-hmm. can't really tell it's a person. I saw it, and I was like. That's gonna be a thing, and I like I thought it was gonna like jump out at him, but no, it just it moves and swims. Just anti gravity, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah. what the? And then yeah. she did the, the next stabbing thing, but the next stabbing thing was after she was trying to get to him, yeah, into the in the attic. Right? Yeah, that was after the living because room she scene. Was banging her yeah, head. Yeah, she was like yeah, yeah. holding on to the ceiling yeah. oh, and just yeah, slamming yeah. her head like ridiculously fast. What about when he slams his fucking head into the desk in school? Like I felt that. Okay, so I've watched it so many times now, like a fucking yeah. challenge it, D- to anybody You're looking at the person that you, has seen the most movies okay, a billion times. Cool. If you watch Hereditary and then Midsummer right after, mm-hmm. watch them both. This is just, I don't know, it's something about it. But the contrast between the two. Yeah. Obviously, because Hereditary is just dark the whole time. The way it's shot, the way it's lit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the angles, all the cinematography. Like, yeah, the cinema is dark. Yeah, exactly. And in comparison. And Midsommar is bright, but it's still evil. You know yeah, what I mean? it just hurts you. Something it's about so it is. It's so pretty. Yeah, exactly. But it's so fucking scary. But, like, there's so many fucking little things in Hereditary that I didn't catch on to until, like, the fifth watch. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. uh, I went they to Reddit a... and, like, oh read about that motherfucker. Too, like, I was too. so deep in threads that I, like, couldn't get out. <laughs> I remember freaking the fuck out because it was right before uh, the mother gets possessed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see a daytime shot, and then it goes to a nighttime shot. Daytime like one shot. One of those fades? No, it's really just a cut. But oh, it's, it's, okay, gotcha. it's, it's like one of those short cuts. Yeah, yeah, it's a perspective view of the house. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And you see the house in the daytime, fine. Then you see it in the nighttime, and there's just fucking at least 20 naked people surrounding oh the house. Oh my God, that's so yeah. weird. And I remember that. I, when I saw I was like, so what freaky. the fuck? And like, man, that's just one of the, Have you seen The Lighthouse? No, but I, I've, I've seen so much about it. Is that, am I shamed for that? No, you are ashamed for that. That movie. I really, I love Robert Pattinson, so that should have been enough reason that, for me to watch it. But that movie goes so deep. Like they pull from so many different things. They pull from Lovecraftian. I heard it was they really pull from good. Greek mythology. They pull from so much shit. In I wish movie. we could watch it now, because so uh, I can see will. it again. We can. I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, Pulled up. Jamie? We can live stream our reaction watching this shit. Okay, so <laughs> Hereditary or Midsummer, both Ari Aster films. Yeah. Okay, that's your. Those are your two favorites yeah, yeah, yeah. of modern. I'm gonna What's say. What's your favorite fucking classic? My classic favorite is Jeepers Creepers. Oh fuck yeah! You know the director of that was a pedophile though, right? 
Um, well, we don't talk about that. Who we knows? just like the movie. Convicted <laughs> pedophile. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's a fantastic. I, that, that movie is almost timeless. You said convicted. I watched that Who movie. Knows? I watched scary movies since Allegedly. I was like ten. And that, yeah. No, that movie is like the the second one is all right, and then like the third one can eat shit. You know. Oh, the third one. I did. I, I, I think, think I watched out half with of it. it. I don't think I saw the third one ever. No, so. it's garbage. The second garbage. one was pretty bad too. I know the first one was good. The first one's fantastic. The first Justin one Wong. messed with oh me when God. I was a kid. Oh it meant fuck with me too. No. I can recite every word to that movie. I got a little thing about Jeepers Creepers that's funny. Uh, <laughs> we were Creepers, getting Jeepers. stoned at a buddy of mine's house, and it was me and let's say the group was a healthy, it was very diverse. There were like three black people and two other white people, and I'm the third white person. Mm-hmm. We're sitting or standing outside of a car smoking. Then we see a big ass eagle sweep over no. down, and you know how? Okay, this is very stereotypical, uh, so I'm gonna disclaim it. <laughs> but black people will run and scream at almost anything if they get a fucking feeling they're different. Yeah, if their gut which feeling is kicks almost in, almost a supernatural sixth sense, and I'm fucking with it. Okay, I mean, <laughs> I, like it I tend to follow. They Likewise, every I time tend- I won't keep up with them, but I'll run yeah. too. But <laughs> we're going the same direction. <laughs> yeah, sure. And we were smoking, and this guy. Literally drops the joint or whatever. We were That's smoking. your first dangerous. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> and he was like, "Oh shit, Jeepers Creepers!" And everybody <laughs> jumped into the car that we were standing around, and, like for no fucking reason. Like we were all just high and paranoid. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> it's an eagle fly by. <laughs> like, and as soon as all of our asses hit car seats, this dude just starts laughing his <laughs> ass off, man. That's the best shit ever. That's the, oh that's the only time I've ever heard Jeepers Creepers like be funny. Like ever been referenced oh, in, a, in, a, in a comedic. Way. That's Jeepers so creepers. fucking funny, man. Uh, it was a geography joke. You had to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You like that? I did. Okay, so <laughs> classic is Jeepers Creepers. Yes. I will put both hands on the Bible for that. All right, so, but... Hmm, it's kind of modern now, right? It, uh, oh, what year 2000s. was it even made? It was in early 2000s. So, what's your favorite horror movie? Can you say 20 t- years ago? What a... What modern. year span do you it want? It was in the aughts. <laughs> no. Well, pre or post 9-11? Pre. So what's That's your favorite? Okay, ever. what's your favorite horror movie ever. pre-9-11? <laughs> um, Everything changed. Yeah, pre-death of Dimebag uh, Daryl. Um, 2003, I think. I don't okay. even know. Like, what? what about the first Night of the Living Dead in black and white? That's a good one. Dead what about at- the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Oh, wait, wait, wait. The yeah, because like, you can go back first, to the 70s and the shit. The first Freddy Krueger. Uh, Nightmare on oh, Elm classic, Street. That classic. is my favorite. Freddy is... I wish they were just called Freddy Krueger. Would be better. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Freddy right. is my favorite um, slasher. Villain? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I feel like I feel like you could have a whole different like category. Like, Freddy's my favorite slasher. Um, the Creeper's my favorite. Well, what, what would you even call him? Well, he's he'd a be beast. like a supernatural beast creature. Yeah, but Cre- creature so feature. It, well, he's a creature feature pretty much. But Freddy Krueger is dream. Hey, yeah, he's, yeah, but he was a person like, first. Like he was, was a person. Was Creeper, sure. Creepers was never a person, was he? He was he always. He had to have been a human. He, at, at he, one point, he eats is people it, it and forms like, to their. You know, <laughs> is it, is it kind <laughs> of like, is it every like twenty three years? Kind of like the Dracula thing, like he was, and then maybe I don't know. They don't really explain it other than like is the there a history. Is there like is going to be a new one coming yeah, out. I wish they'd go like way <laughs> is back. There a book? It's a book. It's the Lesser Key of Solomon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Yo, no bullshit. Before uh, cult. This is why you showed me Hereditary is because I showed you the Lesser Key of Solomon. Oh yeah, he had a copy. Is that a movie? No, it's, it's a book. It's, it's a book written by Jenny, King Solomon. Me. We're going you, deep here. Stay away from that stuff now. <laughs> it's no, for real though. I will not open the book at night. Okay. I'm not even bullshit. Is it scary? You. At night, I'm not fucking with you. I like to be scared. I have to read it with the suns up. I like okay? to be scared. It's fucking weird. It's, it's what H.P. Lovecraft's. Ne- ne- oh my gosh, I just died. H.P. <laughs> <laughs> Lovecraft's Necronomicon is kind of based off of it. Okay. Yeah. And you obviously know what the Necronomicon is. Yeah. It's but the book that summons the fucking evil necromancy. dead shit. The shit, no, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a whole fucking all curse. of the above. Yeah. Cur- yeah, all of it. It's all of any that. black magic. Kind but of deal. I showed him this book that I have, the Lesser Key of Solomon, and there's a Greater Key of Solomon too, which the Greater Key is angels. Yeah. The Lesser Key is demons. Okay. And I show him this, and I go to the page, or I, I just fl- he's flipping through it or something, and he sees the sigil, yeah. which is a symbol, yeah, for for Pyman. 
which oh, is and the, Demon the Demon and Hereditary. Yeah. 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 And he was like, Oh, dude, you seen Hereditary? <laughs> and I was like, No, I haven't. Um, Would you like to show me, good sir? Um, and then after we no. were done, I was like, Fuck you, Cole. See, now when I saw anymore. that, that made me. I would have been out of sleep for a month. Because that's like an old, like supposedly old text. Supposedly, yes. Supposedly old text. Which it made it even worse. Like last year, midway through, I learned that some Jewish people mm -hmm. and some Muslims really do believe in like the magics, like the the magics white with a the white yeah. versus black magics. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> the white versus black. <laughs> <laughs> magic. It's just the race war of magic. It, fuck That's it, all it is. I'm with I mean, black magic. That's just crazy though. Hey man, you can't put a curse on anybody unless you want to curse yourself tenfold. That's what is that's that? So alchemy? Know. I think it's just witchcraft. <laughs> you nerd. I think that's just common sense. Also, I bought yeah. a sticker uh, a couple days ago where it's Black Philip, and it's his quote: "Would thou like to live deliciously?" We've seen The Witch, right? Yes. The, the Witch is a great yes, movie too. That Fantastic movie is movie. bomb. You know, you know what the goat is, right? The Black Bill. Black Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Black Bill. <laughs> no, the little the animated movie. What is Black Bill? Bill? What am I thinking? Of? Bill, little Bill Cosby is what you're talking about. Black Bill. Little Bill. <laughs> little Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Shout I'll out take to Little Bill. Oh, Free the man. Lord. Good God. <laughs> Free my man, I'm just Little playing. Billiard. I'm just playing. Black. We're black calling him Black Bill from now yeah, on. Black, black Bill. Uh, <laughs> black Bill. Yeah, he's Lucifer. We just call yeah, him yeah, Bill yeah, Collins. Yeah, yeah. Didn't we he just, talk at the end? Or like, yeah, that's what I just yeah. said. You fuck. He speaks like this. And then he, he speaks talked, in whispers, dude, and then he, Of course. He speaks like this, yeah. is what I said. Yeah. He speaks like <laughs> this. <laughs> My children's. <laughs> He's got a little lisp. Okay, Colt, have you seen Mother? Yes. Jesus I have Christ. not seen that movie. You would love it. It's really would. like psychological. It's you good. get to see fucking Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence silhouette. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Both she of y'all did the hell. same thing. <laughs> She's You fine. get to see Jennifer Lawrence's <laughs> Michelin Man <laughs> body. <laughs> she could have transformed right here. I'm telling you, man. That's a great movie. Javier Bardem's in it, too. They're really is good. That They're really good. Anton Chigurh. Anton, Anton you, Chigurh. I, you still haven't watched No Country for Old Men. No, I haven't. Oh, I haven't seen that either. I fucking hate both of you. So now we got to watch. What was the what was the first movie I said we got to watch? Shut up. I don't care. What even what, what, what was movie it? was it? What, yeah, what, what was even the movie? movie? What, what even oh, movie the was The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse yeah, we got to yeah. watch No Country yeah, yeah. for Old Men. No Country for Old Men's badass, dude. We should, Tommy Lee point, Jones in it, too. We should just make a list of like three movies. And just rent them? Like, go to a drive-in theater and, like, rent Dude, the Dude, where place. can you even do that, though? Memphis. Uh, probably, like, Memphis or Memphis. Chattanooga. <laughs> Chattanooga's a way farther yeah, yeah, place. Yeah, I mean, an hour, <laughs> I mean, six hours. Uh, so. Whatever. So, Night of the Living Dead, the first one? Yeah. That's your top? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Colton? Oh, well, I'm going to say, I'm going to say that just because my mind went blank. I feel like if I had a bigger... Um, like, what about, like, The Exorcist or, like, The Thing? Wait, no, 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 I changed it to the night, the the first um, Freddy Krueger movie. Oh, yeah, Elm Street. Yeah. yeah okay, Nightmare on Elm Street. Classic. Yeah, yeah. Classic movie. I've never been a slasher guy. I understand. Johnny Depp's in the first Nightmare, I'm Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm um, more of a, I want to get, like, spooked. Like so I want to be, like, a, like I some demons. Have y'all seen... Um, Ouija, the first one. I haven't seen Ouija. The wait, second wait, one. Wait, wait, wait. What does it do? What happens in Ouija? Like, what's the thing? What's um, the premise? They play with a Ouija the board. <laughs> they play with a Ouija is board. Is it in Spanish? And... No. Okay. I but saw the one that was one, in Spanish. The second one is so good. It has the girl from, like, the second Conjuring in it. Um, That been, movie. Been a minute since I've seen that, that movie one. fucked me up. The first one was fantastic. They are all good. And the then whole they went too far with the... I like all the Conjuring the, ones, too. I was so excited about The Nun. The I Nun was, was the first leg. Yeah. Just bombed. The Jessica nun, made fun of yeah. me for weeks because I was so obsessed yeah. about that fucking no, movie. It was awful. The Nun Garbage. was a letdown. And then the what was it? Annabelle Homecoming. Garbage. I was not a fan. They tried to do Garbage. too much. It's yeah. too yeah, much. It's, it's money grabs, man. That's all it is. It was trying to. They they had like every thing, mm -hmm. even things they didn't reference before, like. You were just supposed to know there was a werewolf ghost yeah. that they had captured yeah. at some werewolf point in ghost. time. Yeah, I was like, first of all. It's not even a regular werewolf. <laughs> it's like <laughs> paranormal. Werewolf. It's like a demon werewolf that only exists in the spirit realm. So I'm with it. The Insidious movies really scared me. But like, okay, so what about yeah, like the Insidious. first Pet Cemetery or The Shining? I like the second oh, okay. Pet Cemetery too. Okay. Salem's Lot. Now we're talking about Stephen King. Um, okay, hold the fuck on. Does he not count in <laughs> horror? Does he not okay. count in horror? Well, yeah, but see, my mind went blank. I understand. Um, you're, under, you're under a lot of pressure. You've been drinking fucking. Yerba mate. Yeah. Speaking of which, would you like another yes, drink? I will, I will take both. Oh, I will take the Jim Beam Vanilla. We're sponsored now. 
This I is, wish. This is Big Word Little Dog ever. Uncut. Oh, we're no longer <laughs> sponsored. We got plugs now. <laughs> we're no longer sponsored. Ooh, I heard that. Damn. Is it fine? It's not that bad, is it? It's sm- smooth and it's shit. It's pretty sweet. It's slicker and shit. I mean, slicker. Technically. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Colton, I think you and I have talked about it multiple times. Go and get you swig. COVID. Yeah, COVID. <laughs> That's right. The vanilla will stop we're anti- it. We're hey, anti maskers now. Shit. It is good. Super smooth. I know uh, you picked it up and then you're like, ugh. <laughs> like you looked at it. <laughs> um, I didn't expect it to be that good. Stephen King's a whole different genre. That Everything he does is Cody good for Scott, me. By the way, oh, yeah. shout out to Cody. Appreciate shout you, bro. Cody. This is like the fifth time Cody he Scott. came up in this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> I used to drive. What's that car he used oh, to yeah. drive in high school? His Celica. He used to. Oh, he had a black Cody, Celica. I remember the Celica. You never let me drive that motherfucker. So fuck you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, Cody. Colton, what's your he'll, favorite? He'll buy it again now, just because of that. Uh, yeah, he will. Yeah. I'm going to get an ad on Twitter and be like, fuck you. An ad? Uh, an <laughs> ad. I thought you said an ad. Like, thought, he's going to pay for it just to promote <laughs> Legit. God bless. Legit. Get out of here. Thought the same thing. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite movie, Nicole? Yeah. I think favorite I've already asked you this movie. before. Well, I, I don't want this to be an echo chamber, but I really liked Hereditary. I mean, I showed it to you because it's I liked really it so much. Uh, it's, it's really an outstanding movie. It's an outstanding. What about, can we talk about it's literally us? Splendiferous us is movie. Fucking fantastic, Did y'all like too. that? Yeah, it's fantastic. I like the funny Watched aspect. Watched it multiple times. Yeah, me too. Um, I'm just really, like, uh, I'm just into Stephen King. Like, I've read all his books. That's my top favorite. Author. Um, yeah, author, all his movies. Well, not the, his movies, you know, but they're remade, his books. All that shit's good to me. Uh, he does a really good. Um, there's been a rendition of The Outsider on HBO. I don't know if you've read if y'all read that book by Stephen King. Mm-mm. No, but I do know something funny. What well, is your well, name, Colton? I didn't think be. so because he asked me what my favorite movie. <laughs> oh, oh, but I don't fucking care. Damn. <laughs> Continue. I'm I kind of forgot just... that I asked you, dude. <laughs> that was hilarious. I was holding on for a minute. Did you see me? I looked up. <laughs> yeah, like, you were thinking. I saw that. I was like, what should I do? I'm going to go back and watch patch, this bro. just so I can see me cut your ass off. Yeah. Oh. Inter- <laughs> interrupting is a common theme on this show. It was. Yeah. The, it's the out what? Outlander? Is that what you said? Oh outsider, my God. Get the fuck out. Goober. We don't watch Outlander here. What is it's Outlander? It's the Outsider it's on out- HBO. If you don't watch Outlander's it, you are canceled. fucking garbage. Conley and Jessica love that shit. I can't stand it. What is I've tried to watch it. That's like I've tried to watch Game of Thrones. I can't get into it. Sasanak. She just talks so fast. <laughs> yeah, I can't get into Game of Thrones either. I tried I to get into Game of Thrones so many times. So many times. You I've tried. Talk no, you can talk as fast. But as you I will want. tell you what you need to watch. You got HBO? Yeah. The Sopranos. Okay. Jesus I've been Christ. told to watch it. It's the best HBO show to ever be made. I don't give a damn if you like The Wire or Is there a lot Game of, of seasons of it? I gotta watch something with that there's, I can just sit and binge. There's seven seasons, but season six is broken into six A and six B. Okay. Is it's it like, like is each part. section longer than a regular half season would be? Like, is that why they did it? Or I don't know anymore. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched it all the way through at least ten times. Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's like I know. Me. I know all he the. Likes Ita- the I know Sopranos all the Italian slurs. Do y'all do bro. that though? I feel weird though. Like I will watch a show a certain time. Like I mean, a certain show like forty fucking times. But supposedly, it's a it's a coping mechanism for anxious people. Oh well, because they already know what's happening. You know what I'm saying? That makes a lot that's of sense. That's brilliant. That really makes now a I lot want of sense. to watch shows I've seen. That's why I watched The Office. I mean, over eighteen. Oh yeah, times. well they took it off Netflix. Hannah's, oh, I think Hannah's seen The Office a whole lot. Oh man, The Office. Is I great. just I haven't seen. I love that we're just talking about seen, shows now. Seen it all the way <laughs> this is yeah, I a, know we're like thirty uh, minutes. It's just a movie review. Hey, well, dude, I okay. like it. All the guest shows have gone long. That's fine. No, I don't care. I don't. That is completely fine. <laughs> I can't. What do we got to do? No, I don't care. I can't talk. What do I? I can't <laughs> talk. I can't talk. Can't speak in this, this damn this microphone. Is the first time Jenny's ever been recorded on a microphone. It really is. Talking these damn can talking. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to soggy bottom boys real quick. Oh, oh fuck my god! Yeah. Oh brother, where art thou? That is my Fantastic shit. Fantastic movie too. My shit. Yeah. How many times did we see that in just high school? A lot. I think they. Are, I mean, I think every Mr. Man class. played it at least five times. I Mr. Swear, man, man played it a lot. And who is the who is the the volleyball dude? Coach. coach. Yeah. 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 He senior, taught Bible. I class. had him for Bible senior year. You took oh. Bible? I took it just so I didn't have to do shit. Oh, okay. It was Coach Dean. Come on. Uh, yeah. So. Well, I should have did that. Should have <laughs> done that one, but it didn't. <laughs> he gave us coloring pages of Noah's Ark, and then he was like, "All right, go to lunch." I As a senior, I didn't say that. As the a senior, teachers did not hear me. As a senior, I don't even yeah. know if he's still teaching. Is he still teaching? Good, he shouldn't be. <laughs> oh, Uh-oh. fuck, dude, we messed I mean, with him. Isn't he a perv? 
Uh, a little heard, bit. Yeah. A little bit. And by I'm a little not. bit, I mean a lot. But anyways, sorry. He means well, I'm sure. <laughs> Locally. Um, we messed with him because of that. So I can't remember whether it's Brandon Baker. I had I had his class junior or senior senior year with like Brandon Baker, Charlie Warren. Oh God. Uh, who else? Velasquez was in there. Man, this is really local. This is like a throwback. Uh, this is super local too because <laughs> we were just talking about it was like a decade almost yeah, since we sure. graduated. That's crazy and to me. I think it was Ed Young was in there too. <laughs> Uh, did you see him when he got on TV? He was on Jerry, Jerry Springer. Springer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyways. Dude, he is the one who, I quote, he said, he looked at me one time, and was like, you got to pet that thing and then kiss it. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even bullshitting you. Until this day I say that oh shit. Oh, my I'm God. I'm not fucking with you, bro. <laughs> He's, dude, I'm telling you, that was his catchphrase for months, Out dude. all the things you could have said. Dude, we right would play there. basketball. <laughs> we would play, the way he whispered it and we, said it we, so good. We would play basketball, and he would make a shot. He's like, pet that thing. Keezy. Like, <laughs> it, is, it is like he was fucking calling, responding to himself. You know what I mean? Like, you know how motherfuckers work a crowd? Like, you got to pet that thing. They'll turn like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. with himself. My face is probably really it red right now. That is so fantastic, <laughs> dude. You gotta paint that thing. But the you gotta paint that thing. It kisses. It it kisses. He he got a condom He's from somewhere. So awesome. He and got like, a condom. Yeah, yeah. I, well, of course he went to the store. He got a condom and like filled it with mayonnaise, <laughs> and then filled it and then filled it with water, and then like. Got in the room and slung what it like this. What room are we talking about? In, in Coach Dean's room. Yeah. And slung it. So it got super long and stretched out. That's and then just draped it across his desk. <laughs> oh, my God. So there's like this mayo-y, watery, consistent, like four or five foot long condom just stretched over his desk. Looks very Jesus. specific. I have never seen that man so mad. Oh, dude, mad. I bet it yeah. was awesome. Coach Dean came in there. <laughs> Who did this? <laughs> and he started yelling like he was, and none of us would talk. It was like we were prisoners, like we were all just like, <laughs> "Fuck yeah!" The warden got I'd what he deserved scared. today. Hell yeah! I'd have been scared. I would have oh, ran out. It was funny. Are you a rat or not? You know what I mean? None of us ratted. There you go. We all got in trouble for it though. Yeah, yeah. No. that's how it, it goes. Bad. But anyways, I don't know why I even brought that up. What? There was what? a reason. I don't even know I how said we got that. on that. I don't either. But what's your favorite horror movie again? <laughs> <laughs> was it hereditary you or no? Finally, woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. so back around. Was it hereditary or no? There's another one that I watched. That's uh, it's on Shutter, oh. and it, it's only my favorite because I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. Is it called Tale of Two Sisters? No. Is it called Audition? No. Is it called The Wailing? I haven't seen any of these. Okay. No, it's Beelzebuth. I don't have Beelzebuth. I know what you're talking about. Be Be what? I think I'd pick Beelzebuth right I now. Beelzebuth. I haven't watched I like it, but I've like seen it. I've seen Can a little I spoil bit of it? it? If you want, yeah. Yeah. So, like, the principal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Yeah, you can spoil yeah. it. You're going to anyway. Yeah, Fuck it. Do it. Um, so, the, the principal of the movie is like. It ends up being religious in a way, but uh -huh. it, um, there's a whole bunch of, like, killings of kids. Happening okay. like you know mass killings, like the opening scene of the movie is a nurse coming in off of like coming in to relieve another nurse of like nursery duty, yeah. Yeah. and she just looks just bleak, and the the nurse that's leaving is like, "Are you okay?" She's like, "Yes," and just goes in there and then locks the door to the nursery and takes out a knife and just starts stabbing each of the babies, like Damn. each one, and it's the most brutal thing because like you see everybody's trying to get that. in. That's opening scene. <laughs> I'm yeah, watch that. everybody's trying to get in there, and uh, it ends up becoming like the reason is it's these people getting possessed by demons. Okay, because the second coming is trying to happen. Oh, I feel. And you. so, like each wave of these kids is getting wiped out was supposed to be somebody important, but like in this movie, it's like it wasn't just Jesus that came back. It was like oh. Paul's coming back, John the Baptist is coming. Like all these people are coming back to do That's stuff. Scary. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. If any of them came back, it'd be scary. And there's like a, a Jesuit, a Jesuit <laughs> priest, like, <laughs> like a Jesuit priest who uh, left the order because he like sold his soul. To find out where Jesus was being born again at, Very good. so he could help him. So he oh, sold his soul, shit. going to hell, so he could help Jesus come back. Basically, Maybe that's commitment. He thought he would, he would get his soul back. I mean, who Possibly. knows? Okay, so suggestions. Um, I mentioned audition and the wailing. The wailing is a. I did watch the endless. 
the other day, by the way. Fuck, the endless is so, so good. No, no, no. All What's right. the first one? Prior. Okay, okay. I'm explaining <laughs> it. There's a movie, and it's done by these two dudes that do that specify, or specialize, rather, yeah. in Lovecraftian horror. Mm-hmm. Unknown shit, yeah. right? The first one is called The Resolution, mm-hmm. okay? And it's summed up. It's fucked up. But the second it's one is up. called The Endless. And it's a, obviously, it's a, I think it's a. These are on Shutter? It's not a sequel. It's not or really a, a sequel. It's on Amazon Prime. I feel one like of I've them seen is this. Netflix has Endless. What is the, what is yeah, the, the plot? Endless. Uh, the Endless, movie. they go to a cult and there's somehow, some way they can warp to other places. And that. some people get trapped in these certain loops where they kill themselves over and oh, over, so over and over again. There's like a, the region, endless. Oh there's my like God. a region of the U.S. that's like. Different time bubbles mm-hmm. and different time lengths, but it's controlled by one being. It's controlled by this whatever Lovecraftian oh, elder. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, there's sorry, this, I can fucking name him. There's this, <laughs> there's this one guy who's stuck in like a five second loop. Yeah, and he's five and he's, seconds. Yeah, yeah, he's like an old pioneer dude in his tent. Yeah, and you see him just get up and he gets thrown against the tent wall and explodes. Every five seconds. Every yeah, five but seconds. But there's a clock on the outside of the tent that just. There's resets. no way he can change it. No, no he's but, damned. But you, yeah, he's damned because he got stuck in this loop. Uh, because he didn't. Oh. What is it? He didn't accept the, the offering or the love of this being. It's or something, something like, like that. that. They don't really explain on that guy. They don't really. But he just. In the end list, these two guys are trying to go to the cult, which is like a ten year loop, mm-hmm. which they left. Which they left. In between the loop cycles, so if you're stuck in a place when it resets, like if he would do, if he were to have gone into the tent, yeah, he'd be stuck in the five second oh, loop too. Oh no! Yeah, and it's like it, these little bubbles. If you don't kill yourself, it kills you. Yeah, and he's got five seconds to kill himself, or it just explodes you. And they're acting like everyone Jeez. that has to die from it acts like it's the worst possible oh, way to my. die. I- Oh my god! And there's this other dude who's like, so you're st- immortal, but you still, yeah, you know, he's stuck in like a three day. hour loop. And he hangs himself every time. Oh he, well, he, he tries different stuff after a while. Like he only has the ability to hang himself, and uh, he, you can't leave your. Yeah, it's like a certain. They're area. sectioned off areas of these like that's of insane. these time loops. It's that's, fucked how do you up. come up with a movie like that? Lovecraft. Baby. That's why the rest. Have of y'all Lovecraft seen Lovecraft Country leave. on? Oh um, my god! I cried at the second oh episode when god. the uncle died. Spoiler. Oh. I've Jesus. already seen it. it I've never seen it. It literally just, it, Buddy, it's so good. What is it it's, on? It's HBO. It's yeah. Lovecraft. Everything, and everything, HBO. everything it's Lovecraft, is good is on HBO. For sure. Every It's Lovecraft, and it's about civil rights movement, mm-hmm. because the whole fucking cast is African American. Yep. It's so, so it's good. So it's like through Jim Crow. I noticed, I the noticed they, were all, they were all black It is people. fucking so good, dude. So the good. The main guy, what's his? Atticus. Um, I don't even, I'm trying to figure out what his real name is. Fast. Um. Oh, is that his name? Atticus. Not the character name. Not the character name. I don't though. know. I don't know the actor's name either. I've seen him on something else, but I can't remember. <laughs> it's not by chance the same guy that plays the Falcon that we no, were trying no, to name not. the other day. Synchronic. That's another good Lovecraftian kind of yeah, movie. Yeah, I don't think we watched that one yet. No, 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 not yet. But The Resolution and then The Endless. You have he to knows watch, I haven't seen You it have yet. to watch so, no, those no, in order. Yet. I want to watch those. Yeah, yet. The Resolution's first. The Resolution is fucking wild, but... Yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah. sorry. The resolution uh, also <laughs> happens in the endless. Yeah, because it's not a prequel or a sequel. Neither one of them. It's all simultaneous. Yeah, it's all okay. simultaneous because of the you know the concept of what it is. Uh, fantastic movies. Um, Definitely. Damn, watch what it in was order, I going to say? Because stuff happens in the endless. That if you if you've seen the resolution, yeah. you'll be like, holy shit! The whole time. It all makes sense. All right, I'm gonna watch it. Y'all done got it's me. So good. Uh, but audition and the wailing. Both Asian movies. I think they're both Korean. I could be wrong. Korean movies are tight most of the time. A lot of a lot of indie overseas films are kind of like Damn. bomb. What? Say it. It just reminded me of Train to Busan. Oh, that's fantastic. A good movie. That's a good I fucking love movie. Train. And I don't even really like zombies. Have you seen Soul Station? Yeah. No. The, is that the anime animation? One? Yeah. yeah. They're doing another one. That's uh, probably not gonna be good. I, I don't know if it's an anime or not, but why are oh, sequels always shit. just shit? Because it's it's. It's trying to like squeeze out they, the life they of the original film, thought. They, they should right. film the first one and then not stop and just film the second one if they're going to do a sequel. A lot of money you're talking about. I know, well, I know <laughs> that, but fuck it. I, well, I mean, I wish we were all cavalier <laughs> with Elon our Musk, you heard our demands. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but no, no, no. The Wailing. Tesla Cinema Jessica company. fucking hates me for talking about, like, every time I scroll past it on any of the streaming server, let's watch this, let's watch this, let's watch this. 
Has she watched it with you yet? She's seen it one time, but I've seen it like three times now, and I've picked up on. I mean, at least tenfold amount of things I, you know, on the, from the first watch. You I know love doing that though. Like, I love finding shit that I didn't see. Like, I'm just like a movie nerd. I don't know. I wish I could critique movies. Like, Cinephile? get paid for that shit. Cinephile. That's what you are. Yeah, I like that. All right, good talk. And <laughs> that's I the end of the episode. Him. No, um, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> you thought? No, Janine, was I a pleasure. Think... It was a pleasure. <laughs> you no. fucking thought. <laughs> <laughs> thought she was cool, didn't you? <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> grabs grabs him, <laughs> brings it back. No, I think uh, my... Hmm. We haven't even got to your favorites, have we? Besides the, the... That's true. I don't know. So that it was my two. It is a two. hard... Hereditary is up there, and that's just because it's... It's just a good movie. It's the most... It's, it's a classic modern horror movie. It's probably the... Mean? The most fresh. I don't get scared when I watch horror out. movies. Like I'll, I'll, I'll sit dead ass, like right in front of a screen, and just that's not good for be you. Be so oh fuck it. Hereditary fuck made it. me feel something though. Yeah, like yeah. it scared me. So did the opening of fucking Midsummer. The opening of Midsummer is so which the one? Opening was oh the opening god! When she I always my, forget god about the damn. opening. When she killed her family. Yeah, it's fucking. Oh, I think brutal. I have like little. Oh, I can't, but can we talk about when they smash their the dude's oh, face yeah, when he didn't land shit. right? I love that shit. I'm so with that. I'm such gore. a gory person. Like, no, 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 no. The life cycle ending. Yeah. Oh, just four <laughs> seconds. <laughs> that too. Well, fuck it. <laughs> Jim, your time's up. They it's believe been in reincarnation, dude. Years. I'm with it. They knew that shit was going to happen to them the whole time, and they're just sitting there fucking drinking, like, cheers, bitch. We finna die. I love that. It's been a good I run. I love how the woman just executed it perfectly, mm-hmm. and the dude just fucks it up because he lands feet first. He fucked it up so hard. And then the big ass wooden mallet. Or yeah, yeah. Would you want to be the mallet guy? Yes. Absolutely. You know what? I can see you Keith as the mallet that. guy. Just be like, past Ooh. life. <laughs> Man, that was tough. That's tough. I got you, baby. Yeah, I know <laughs> the guy's just crying. Oh, you're no. Like, shh, shh, my Hush, my child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. That, that no, was awful. Past life, I was an executioner. That was awful. Past life, I was an executioner. You think so? For, oh, for damn sure, dude. I, don't I have, know, I don't know I have what dreams I of murdering life. people. I really think you'd like the Sandman Buddy, comic series. My dad called me last night. I was telling you about it before we started podcasting. And for at least 10 minutes, he was talking about if I could get away with murder, I would do it. And he was like <laughs> just saying all this shit. All talking right. that you would? Talk, no, no, talking to, about himself. Oh, He's like, so you, he, he could get nice away with it. Because verbatim, he was like, I'm dying to kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> he said that about six times, and he was he was <laughs> he aggravating Jessica. It. She was because she was trying to sleep, and I had him on speaker. <laughs> oh my I'm not gosh. holding my fucking phone up to my head for an hour and a half, <gasps> which is hot. the longest phone call I've ever had with my father ever. And he was half drunk, and I'm with it. Oh, it's okay. bonding well, time. It was bonding I time. Almost accidentally said bondage time. <laughs> oh, was... with your dad. <laughs> 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 oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. You know how Keith rolls. <laughs> Shout out to Lonnie. Well, that's what Keith does when he gets off work. <laughs> yeah. For, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing my dad in all fucking black latex suit or spandex. Span- latex. Leather. Fuck I mean, him. latex La- is possible. I don't a- ever want to see Lonnie in latex <laughs> or in a gimp suit. <laughs> oh I'm pretty Lord. Fucking far from okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Pulp Fiction. Man, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Marcellus Wallace. I'm so glad I finally watched that movie because now I finally. pick up on the It's references. not even good. I don't even like that. I like it movie. enough. It's It just bounces a lot. I know that's what it's supposed to do. It's right, not right. supposed yeah. to be linear, but I hated that. It's about decent. It. It's decent. It's not the best Tarantino film, but um, I'm pretty far from okay. <laughs> I'm pretty fucking far from okay. What's the, what's the Tarantino film? Um, Dead by Daylight? or Tarantino. Don't, what the... No. What am I thinking of? I just stuttered so hard. From dusk till dawn. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you started, yeah, started yeah. It too. <laughs> because I because Dead by Daylight's a video the, game. The, the, yeah, I was like, oh, do you play Dead by Daylight? I you have. play games too, right? Yes, yes, I do. I'm playing you Little play, Nightmares right now. You play Death Stranding. Do you got? Do you have Stadia? I, I don't like that game. Why? It's just hard. It's just fucking difficult. Yeah, it's super hard. I've, I've never played I, it yet. It's so I've hard. I've never hard. played it I have it. not gotten past the first level where you have to carry that motherfucking shit. I know you have to do that the whole game. The whole, the whole game. The whole game. But I have not gotten past the first package. That's I've like fallen the whole off the point cliff of the game, 20 times it? and cannot get back up. Have you Have you gotten to the... I'm on PlayStation. Like, like, it's just hard. Me too. Have you gotten to the like 
where you're getting caught no. by the things? No. Oh, I went I went under the, the cave thing and met happening. this one girl, I My think. Brain oh, yeah. That's the melting. badass. Cut That's scene. where I'm at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I fantastic. It. it's fantastic. It's got game. dust on the case. Fantastic game. I, I digitally downloaded that shit. I'm not buying it. I, just, I know she plays cyberpunk, though. I just I finished that. that. Well, I didn't just finish it, but I finished. Um, I tried to. I did Street Kid Is first. Is it playable on PlayStation? Yeah, I played it. I bought it the day it came out, and I it didn't glitch on me until like the next week. I know as your save file gets bigger, dude, you can get talking. so much shit. You can get a fucking dildo sword. It's called Sir Phallus yeah. Stiff. Sure. And you can do oh, yeah. motherfucker. Shout Ow. out to Saints Row, baby. <laughs> <laughs> dude, yeah. dude, okay, it's dude. crazy. Um, the fucking um, what what were we even talking about? Uh, I was Telephone. gonna say. Uh, I started talking about video games for some reason, dude. Video games. Oh, because life. you were saying. Uh, you're saying the Tarantino horror movie. And Day by Daylight. Like, from Dusk Till Dawn. You, from you dusk dumb till fuck, I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps saying the video Dead game. by Daylight. Well, he said the game, so I was agreeing with him. Dead by Daylight. I, I, yeah, yes, I get it. That's I'm, what I'm, the, I'm the dumb one here for something. Somehow, <laughs> I'm the big loser. <laughs> you're not the big loser. You're right. Isn't that a game show, The Biggest Loser? Yeah, where people lose weight for money. Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> this is derailing... <laughs> Derailing. Oh my did you god! Just spray that on no. my own. Okay. No. Oh yeah, she did. Don't <laughs> fucking let her lie to you. Oh, um, that, uh, we just skip what I just said. That's all right. That's <laughs> nothing gets edited, Jenny. <laughs> nothing gets edited. Show? Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay. Now I don't even know what I said to make us take that. Uh, we just started. You started talking about. Um, <laughs> almost said the good, the bad, the, uh, and the ugly. The, I'm oh, pretty far favorite, from okay. And my favorite scene. From Hereditary, going back, I'm sorry. No, that's Because fun. it's a good segue into the actual topic of the episode. Man, we're only an hour <laughs> in, so um, good. This is a proper podcast. Um, when the son sits down for their final dinner, you know what I mean? And Tony Collette gives that whole monologue. Oh, like, oh, is that when they're having, like, like, the problems? The big yeah, problem. He's yeah. like, don't, don't you ever speak to me that way. And, like, she gets... Fucking mad. Yeah. And you see, like, you know, so you can see at least five different emotions of anger, hatred, was, sadness, yeah. sorrow, shame. All of it she just hit great. her face. Fant- you know, she didn't want that role. I what wouldn't want that want? shit either. She, no, 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 she didn't want a dark, like, horror role anymore. She didn't want to play those anymore. But she read the script and was just, I, ugh, came. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, like, I, it, it, it's just a good movie. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, that's probably my favorite I scene. call my manager. And I said, I have to have it. Mm-hmm. Have to For have sure. It. But the damn, because it's got to be relatable on a, on a mi- micro level. Of you understand, when, mom. When the fucking girl oh, yeah. gets her, gets the cap, gets yeah, her yeah. kappa detated. <laughs> uh, Decapitated. That's a office co- uh, quote. <laughs> kappa detated. <laughs> but how the brother, and yeah. I don't even remember his name. We'll call him Joey. I forgot his name too. Joey. How he just shuts down. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about in the drive, right? In the drive. Okay, gotcha. But, I mean, that whole continuation, like, the whole scene of him experiencing this emotion, this this event, this, you know, I mean, like dealing with the trauma. murder of his sister, pretty yeah. much. That shit was... Accidentally. W- that you know shit, I, mean? I wouldn't even, like, I just sat there, and I was like, how the fuck would you even react? But, do you think... Oh, man. Because... There's another way I can spin this too. Mm-hmm. So, weave your how webs. He, how he just shut down completely mm-hmm. is pretty close to what people experienced in World War One: shell shock. Mm-hmm. Obviously, because artillery and little bombs were so prominent in World War One. Yeah, so close to you too, right? For so like close. the first time, and you're in a fucking trench, and you just have to live there and yeah. endure it the whole time. So, and they would have like drum fire. Which it sounds like a snare drum roll, and it's artillery shells. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and it's constant. I mean, Battle of Verdun. There was six million shells shot in two days. <laughs> oh, two this days. is this is a World War One podcast. No, now. it's not. But <laughs> people you experience post traumatic stress disorder, what we call it now. And I mean, it was shell shock back then, where people were either just so afraid that even if they're getting commanded. And with a fucking revolver in their face to run or fire, their their brain's just like, nope, you're good. 
You're good. Stay there. <laughs> Just chill, man. Survive, faggot. What's he going to do? Kill you? Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. I knew you were going to say it at some point. I feel like that's kind of like your it's fight It's my flight. favorite word ever. Okay? <laughs> it's my favorite word ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's one of the best. It has such a bite to it. Just say it, it again. I it has I can't. Such a I can't. Bite I can only say it one time. We've already had our YouTube flag twice. For real? No. <laughs> oh, shit. You got me excited. <laughs> yes, they Damn. noticed me. But do you not? Okay, so in that aspect of the Joey in Hereditary, yeah. <laughs> the brother, yeah. when he shut down, do you think that's <laughs> subconscious taking over? Um. I've, I know that was a cliffhanger of a question. I'm sorry. Okay, I feel like that's kind of like how. Okay, say you're driving down the street and you. In uh, my six four. L- like <laughs> shocking the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you know how you you forget that you're driving almost at some point and then you come to and you're like, how the fuck did I get? I this do far? that all the time. Yeah, that's why I don't like riding with you. I don't know if I, I do not do that dangerously. Do I? <laughs> you don't. Do I? I'm just. Do I? I do that often though, and I feel like that's like kind of how he felt. Like he he. Um, he just autopiloted. His natural exactly. response was just to say a response sit there. again, please. What? His what? Say it again. What? His just natural repeat what? Everything His he said. His natural response was just oh, to sit there. Oh no. What? She didn't do it. You what? said response. <laughs> you pulled like a Conley Benson, like Fuck something off. Conley would do. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously though, like your subconscious does everything for you. Like I feel like yeah. if you lost that, and you would have to learn how to walk again. Like if you didn't have your subconscious, Whoa. you would. That's, that's way more profound than I took it. <laughs> <laughs> you would. Holy shit. You would learn. You would have to learn your ABCs. Like you would wake up if you just had this motherfucker on a leash, carrying your subconscious around. Like that does everything for you. That, that, that like if you if somebody asks you a deep ass question and you answer, you're like, how the fuck did I know this answer? That's your subconscious. It does kind of sum you know what I'm things talking up about? faster. Jenny, get out of here. <laughs> I mean, uh, damn, you're a pundit. Jesus Christ, uh, you just landed that. Say? That was nice. I think. I mean. I absolutely agree. You said autopilot. Rephrase it is autopilot. Rephrase your question one more time. I want to hear it again because okay, Jenny so, kind of broke my so the spirit. feeling of <laughs> broke the brain. Yeah. Let's just go with the hereditary thing. Okay, right. this man, boy, old teenager, <laughs> just saw <laughs> and was the cause of his sister who is allergic to peanuts. Fire. Mm-hmm. Yep, that was the only reason why that <laughs> happened. Because she ate chocolate cake that had nuts in it. Because he didn't even want to take her to the party. Yep. And they the didn't moral bring the of the story is: take your little sister to the party and watch her. Don't smoke weed with your little sister in the room. Don't let your little girl eat peanuts. Okay. All right. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, and she kind of looked like a bird, so it's only proper okay. that she was allergic to nuts. Oh, okay. Uh huh. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like I have no idea your... what that came from. That subconscious. Was... That was my subconscious. Yeah, subconscious is an idiot. Yes. <laughs> but so that feeling. We'll blame it that, on that. That event happens. Okay. Okay. Your sister is dying because of you. Did Dead. die. Decapitated. Past tense. You experienced it. Yes. He shut down. Literally, could he? He had a ragged breath. That was it, and well, maybe pretty... a couple tears. But yeah. didn't say a word for a while. I mean, went straight to bed and just laid there and thought, right? I don't even think he... Uh, he might have been blank. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It might have been shell shock. I just want to say, has anyone experienced... any? I, I, I hope you haven't knocked anyone's heads off <laughs> while you're driving. Nope. Can't say that I have. But have you ever experienced something traumatic like that in person? Yeah. Um, what was your reaction? No. Like the incident happened. Did, now, when I say experience, I mean you had to be there for it. Not like you got the news broken to you that it did happen. No, I saw it happen. Yeah, like you were there, first person. Um, I was like, I don't, think I don't so. need to know what it is. I want you. Uh, to break, yeah, I know. Of course I just, not. I was like thirteen at the time, so it's really hard for me to like to remember. I'd have this have to be a therapy session for me to bring that up. <laughs> Something have, deep down your subconscious. We have to break down some barriers for sure. Exactly. <laughs> like if if legit, if my subconscious was right over here, you could he hide would, that shit. He'd never just know about it. that shit out. You'll be like, oh yeah, I cried for I feel like, three weeks. I feel like subcon- <laughs> I feel like subconsciouses are always like the hardened war veterans. Like that's what they'd be like. They're not versions of you. They're not. You don't think they would be? No, because that's information. Because that's what I stores. Because that's what I said last podcast. I was like, they'd scare you, which they would no matter what. But they wouldn't bully you. you know they would mean? just blurt out. Like if they were beside you, they could just blurt out everything you didn't want to say. I'm gonna put it this way. 
your subconscious, say if there was a replica of me that was just my subconscious, would be the um, highly functioning autistic version of me. You know what I'm saying? That has no filter, okay. doesn't doesn't recognize social right. norms if it doesn't have to. I don't right. though yeah. it's been trained yeah, right. <laughs> though it's been trained to do so. That sounds dangerous. It is. It is dangerous. <laughs> the subconscious would be dangerous if it would just if you could just clone it right there. You know what I mean? I think you'd Where be both alone of forever. You exist. Where somehow th- it's a paradox. The somehow sub- you still have all of you, but exactly. it's just it. Yeah. It's just it. You know what I mean? But you have to have it. Like you still need it. The reason, the reason I brought that up is because like the one time I experienced something really brutal like that, I had a very similar reaction mm-hmm. where it's just like, I have to move. That's like yep. the only thing that was like, I have to move, I have to move. And I just like walked around like aimlessly for a while. Mm-hmm. So like, I totally get the, I think that's why I like that scene so much. Just cause, blanking? Because he's just like. It's kind of real. I'm going like, home. It is. You, p- you put it yourself is. in that I'm situation and you're home. like, how the fuck would I feel? Time to go home. But I feel like that was just <laughs> he his. Drives home. That was just his normal response to drive home. He put that shit in drive and just went home. Something's wrong with my sister. It's time to go home. <laughs> and then that's. I, I feel but, like I feel like he just lost the thought. Like it, it didn't even register to him that she did that. Yeah, yeah. his brain was you just know? like, you know, it's time because to go to sleep, man. This is a lot. What you just said is super accurate because he didn't even go back to get the mm-hmm. head. No, you know what I mean. He didn't even look. He did not take his eyes off the road. He, he didn't just turned looked around. in the rear view. And yeah, just, and then he, I, he I heard want it. to say he adjusted the rear view too, to yeah. where he couldn't see it. Because he was watching her in the rear view mirror the whole time, gasping for air, and she stuck her head out to get enough air. Because that's what made him. No, no. He, he the fact that they had that pre marked. Yeah. No, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, because well, yeah, they the, the did mark, put the stuff the, on the, it. But the, that movie. Pyman Sigil was on it. But oh. the way that it happened and the way that he reacted, I feel like anybody would do that. Movie. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I don't know if I would have sat there. It's definitely a movie. <laughs> I guess where <laughs> I wanted to go with the Take whole. Take it, man. You're the, the host of this bitch. Topic. Not really. Uh, the whole. <laughs> I guess I guess where I was wanting to go with last week when we when we mentioned it, mm-hmm. I said subconscious, but I guess I really meant like your id, like if if the three versions of you, the id, the ego, and the super ego, were to split, and it was just you as the super ego and ego, and you met your id. What's your id? Your id is like your, just the rawest. Your being. You. You. Like as an animal, you in an animal state of what would it do? Ah, oh, bro. It wouldn't have, like, <laughs> it's, it's not worried about, like, I think that's a different topic at this point. I do, I do. But when you said it, because when you brought up to the, I said, I do, I do. Um, I, I agree, because when you, uh, I bet I do. I when do you started you talking do. about that the subconscious would just be like that autistic, like. It's a yeah. lack of better words, autistic. Well, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Dumbed like, but, down but version. But I think you're right. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, I feel, Way smarter version. But you wouldn't have, <laughs> you wouldn't have the common street sense and you, with all to know, like... It would, though. But, uh... It would. Uh, I don't... It, the How thing, would uh, not? Well, the thing about the subconscious... It would, but it... Uh, <laughs> the thing is... I need this is, to happen. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is... <laughs> I love cold... How, hey, how's that flavor taste? <laughs> What How's that medicine taste? That? The thing is... How's that medicine taste? Your own flavored? Yeah. Yeah, does it? Sorry. <laughs> you interrupted him like six times in a row. It was the hilarious. Thing is, <laughs> the thing is... Yeah? <laughs> I don't know, man. Just elaborate, man. I Because I, I'm following what you're saying, too. Super ego, ego, and id. Well, basically, in my original thing, I guess what I was thinking of, uh, what made me think it was scary... Cause I didn't, I didn't think about it like a, an information bank. Like you're just, you're meeting something that's just like, oh yes, I remember what you did six years ago right. and how you reacted and stuff like. That. I was thinking more like the, the more raw sense of some a survival being. Like if okay. you just ran in, like that version of you. Okay. Like if you didn't have the, I wonder. Like I'm worried about this. I'm anxious about this. Or. I'm, I'm thinking about clothes, or I'm thinking about food, or I'm thinking about like if you're only just like in completely in the moment, just the id version of you. Yeah, it's just survive. That's it. Yeah, like what, preservation. How, really, how horrifying would that be? Because it wouldn't be dumb. It, would, be, it wouldn't be a dumb creature. It, but it would be so concise. Short to the yeah, point, you yeah. know what I mean? It would never have a fucking full length conversation with you. No. Never. That's what I was talking about. Like I feel like that that would always be the grizzled war veteran kind of Absolutely. just super short and have if, no reason. If that's what you mean, you're a hundred percent accurate on that. But that's what I'm I didn't that's even what think I about it like that though. With subconscious. Because with me, the t- 
to me, the subconscious is kind of that. Like you, I didn't even think about it the way you were thinking about it yeah. until today. Well, I didn't think about it like that either. So, but I was thinking about it more like it's just here to do things. Like I was thinking about it from a fighting standpoint. Yeah. Like if you've ever had someone swing at you and you barely see it and you already start to duck. Like that's subconscious. That, yeah, yeah, like that was so fast. You didn't have time to put two and two together. You're still thinking about I'm about to get hit, and then it's you're already moving. Or like if you if you um, so hydroplane and you're you just know to turn the right way. Yep. You know those kind so of. So what you're saying is your version of this, your version of the subconscious, or the topic we we're discussing, uh, is just it just operates instinctually. That's it. That's it. Or minimal with minimal input from what's that's around. What, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, okay, not necess- so. Yeah, not necessarily instinctually, but like how's it not instinctual? No, it's, it is instinctual, but not just instinctual. You know what I'm saying? Like it wouldn't. No, I get it it I wouldn't get it. just be like it has feelings and it knows. It would be like because to me, to put that in a horror movie sense, something that's like that would be um, a quiet place. Oh, those creatures would be like that. Because they're just operating off of what they feel, basically, in here, and that's it. There's not they they can't there's no sensors for them to really take anything in. It's just threat, food, go, and then it just like just annihilates whatever it is. But I feel like this would be more like I don't know. It it have a a structure to it. Like oh, you it, mean it has ethics, morals? Okay. No, 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 no. I don't I don't necessarily s- mean ethics and morals. I mean it would just have structure. Like it would have a way that a it way about d- itself, <laughs> kind of. But it's not, got a structure. Not like it reads books or anything like no, that. No, he's got. Yeah, it. I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to listen. I'm trying to understand it. All right. I mean, I think the best way to word it would just be like a predatory animal. Yeah, animalistic. So it's not baseline. All, yeah, but it's not always dangerous, and not everything's instinctual. There's learned behaviors. Yeah, like if you split it from you now, like it, it's learned the things you've learned. Yeah, it knows the things you know. Well, it's experienced the same shit, but it doesn't have your conscious on top of it. Like, oh, I shouldn't do that. Right. But it also doesn't have your subconscious, which is trying to make it do things it shouldn't do, either. Okay, so I'm more on the latter of what you said, to where I think. The subconscious not only acts instinctually, it also acts by, uh, uh, what is it? I guess it acts subconsciously. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, but it doesn't, it, doesn't really, it doesn't really act on them. It can. It has the ability to do things because it's not, it's not really being filtered. You know what I mean? Like my brain right now, I want Taco Bell. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not going to get Taco Bell because it's bad for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your subconscious wants that shit, though. Yeah. Your conscious is It's telling you it won't, you want it. Right. But your conscious mind has to. So, but what I mean by it's not being filtered, it will just blurt out whatever it wants, do whatever it wants, tell you whatever it wants. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever it needs, rather. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think it would inform you. On your, <laughs> right, <laughs> on like your deepest regrets, or M- mouth noise. <laughs> 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 that was my subconscious. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> Why are you? That's true. Mouth Those are mouth noise. noises. I don't like uh, that. I don't like that. <laughs> now now she's just mocking now me. I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you tried so hard. And then I had to have he, whatever happened. It wasn't to me. me this time. It was cold. And then Jenny looked at me like, "Is you okay?" And then and then I said mouth noises. And then you did. <laughs> and that is the Gross. last straw. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, the last that's what threw you off right there. I, I agree, but I think <laughs> it would be terrifying. And at the ba- at the fucking bare minimum, it would scare the shit out of mm-hmm. you because it's going to tell you why you reacted the way you reacted to any fucking thing in your life that you actually remember. Yep. You know what I mean? And shit that you don't remember. Yeah, that's you know scary. Saying? Like it can it can draw from your fucking dreams. I think that's the scariest part. It can tell you well, what it your is dreams what made mean. the dreams happen. Yeah, no, no, no that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it can it can. 
like in psychiatry, well, they they'll tell you certain sense. things in dreams mean certain things. Like if you dream of like an elephant, it means like, oh, good fortune or some dumb shit like that, right? Your subconscious could accurately tell you what that is. You know what I mean? You ever had dreams of like your teeth falling out or your teeth never being had, weak? I never no. had dreams Do of teeth. Do you have those dreams? A couple times. I've had uh, dreams where I've murdered children. Golly. Actually. With a pistol. Golly. And it was fucked up. <laughs> and I had, an, I had an accomplice, too. Golly. I had an accomplice, too. Who? It was fucked up. I don't remember who I it was. I was going to say that it was a mine trick, was though. not that brutal. I was just saying the teeth thing just to be worried about just your me. health. <laughs> I've, <laughs> had, I've had repetitive dreams, too. Oh, yeah. like Of me, out-of-body experience, staring at me, observing something else. What That's happened? crazy. And the something else is always different. Are That's you? Crazy. Did you die in the moment? Nope. It was just literally that. Literally, me watching myself what And your subconscious would be able to tell you what that It could have been a record meant. player. It could be a football I've game. I heard you tell me about the record player before. Dude, the record That's player wild. was like a whole week straight, not even fucking with you. Uh, I've, night after night? Yes. Every night. Oh, I wonder what the, the meaning behind that is. same fucking thing. What is your subconscious trying to say? I've been killed in a cave in the Middle East so many times. <laughs> oh, shit, Osama. I, Y'all have <laughs> repetitive dreams? I don't know. I don't. You've never had a repetitive no. dream? No. That's good. That's a good they're thing. very vivid. I've had I've been just murdered. That's fucked so up. many times, and it's different ways. And I know it's going to happen. Oh I know God, it's going to happen scary. every time, even I've... though there's no signs of threat around me. I know I'm about to die because I know the place I'm at, and I'm like, son of a. It's like it's like the endless. It's and like, like deja vu almost. Oh my god. Yeah. Kinda. Even though you've never been there. I wonder what makes you have repetitive dreams like that. Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Guess uh, I haven't taken enough. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just. It's drugs. It's drugs. It would be drugs. so, I said this on the last podcast, meeting your subconscious in human form would be so fucking enlightening because it would it would strip you of your inhibitions. You know what I mean? It would strip you of them. Even though you can't exist without it and it can't exist without you, it would break down those barriers or filters, rather, mm -hmm. of being like, hey, man, you should have told that guy to fuck off. Yeah. Or, you, you know what I mean? Like, basic tiny shit to where your manners or, or your societal pressures mm -hmm. of being a decent human being or your Judeo-Christian values, anything like that, it doesn't really matter to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just like It's just primitive. It's just you. It's just you. You know what I mean? I've said you know what I mean five times you in a row. Me. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think the reason this is you're so saying, interesting. You're saying you know what I'm saying too many times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if four or five times is cool, but 15, 16 times, you know what I'm saying? That's too many times. You know what I'm saying? saying? Exactly. exactly. The, trailer uh, park, boys. I've never the, watched that either. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, he's, man. He's, he's made me watch a little bit of it, it's and I didn't like it a whole lot. Uh, Probably, uh, but I got a bunch of shit to watch. I think because I think because this is interesting. I think this is interesting because mm -hmm. your conscious doesn't work like that with your subconscious already. Exactly, and it never has. It never will. Like you'll never, never be able to know fully. There's like them. a barrier between the two. Always, 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 and you'll never know what your subconscious is thinking. But if they were split, and say you were my subconscious, but you looked like me, which would be a shame. Oh. Um, I take that as a compliment. Oh, right. I don't know why. <laughs> Two head tattoos. <laughs> and you Did got a hurt? And you got a cupcake on your foot. Does that before, hurt? Before we get to that okay, bullshit. Okay, okay, okay. We'll finish, we we'll finish, that, we'll finish. That bullshit. Before we Does get to that, that hurt? The filter, hey, you the know. barrier you said. Some people like that, pain. That, mm -hmm, that, <laughs> would, mm -hmm. that would, that will always be there between your conscious and subconscious. What you just said, your barrier, the barrier. Myself. They can never they'll they'll never be able to interlock. They'll never be be able to come like you know, fully form with yeah, each other. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I wish I wish my subconscious would come out of my body for like five minutes just so I could see like talk get to know that motherfucker. You would learn so much. Yes, you would learn so but much. But you already from know it. it. Cole, but... you're just stuck on the fucking animalistic. <laughs> one. No, you no, don't no, even no, give no. A shit. no. What happened was I moved this. And it did the squeak like it did when we were talking to Ricardo. And it scared you? No, it reminded me of how it ruined Ricardo's very... Because you were being hey, serious. Ricardo? Is that another guy? Ricardo was the point yeah. of vision guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't um, he on there like twice? Yeah. We had, yeah. Twice. Twice. See, I listen. I think you're the, the third time. you're the only person other than him that's been in person. Yep. Everyone else has been Jessica. digital. Well, yeah, yeah. But that's Jessica, your girlfriend, right? Jessica. Yeah. Jessica. 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 Jessica's not really a guest so much as she... <laughs> She's like if you don't call her Jessica from now she's on. She's like a I don't cohort of yeah, ours. Co <laughs> <laughs> she's 
She's our lackey. <laughs> she's an she's an acquaintance to the show. Yes, uh, <laughs> friend of the show. But the mic squeaked, and that brought back everything about how it squeaked. And you looked at me when it went. Err. You want that? You, you want, want that? You want that? <laughs> it like squeaked. You want that drink? It like squeaked, and you looked at me. And Ricardo, he's digital. No, yeah, he was digital for that one, wasn't he? That's right. That's right. Because he's only been here one time, and that time we let it. We we did the recording uh, through Source Connect, and he and he didn't hear whatever it was, and you started laughing, and I thought you laughing at that was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> and he's like, and sometimes you know you just have to, and we're just, <laughs> we're just yeah, because for a minute we're trying to conceal it, you know, we were like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just I let out the biggest wheeze laugh of all time, man. That's the hardest I've ever laughed. Like, actually, it was painful. It, no, for real, I wheezed for like the next three days. No bullshit. <laughs> it was so it bad. It was bad. But yeah, I guess I am stuck on the animalistic one too much. But it's I, a good point. I mean, I see what you're you're saying about. Um, you wouldn't have found that funny if uh, your subconscious didn't tell you it was funny. Ooh. No, you're right. It wouldn't I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even remember. Wouldn't it. even. It wouldn't even have registered. Ain't that some? Shit? I would have just been like squeak. You know what's funny? Or weird, not funny. Your subconscious, if it was a form, human form, would have laughed its ass off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> would be like, oh, dude, remember that? And it would have just started laughing. Yeah, it talks it to itself. Of, if it was a human form and it could acknowledge other people, it would have just address like, you, you nerd. I feel like if you didn't have your subconscious, if it was outside of your body, you would have no comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? Like you would feel like you could do what anything. Do you mean? Your subconscious is the one that tells you, like, if you're going somewhere new, you're like, oh, I don't know if I should go. Oh, is so that, is that, really, is that truly yeah. your subconscious, though, or like, is that your I, conscious? I feel like it is because it's not something you're used to in your body. Like, do you I, ever get uneasy when you're doing something new and it's something you don't oh, know Oh, yeah, of? like the fight or flight subconscious yeah. stuff. But if you didn't have that. Well, see, I think, like, it splits a little bit because there is some parts of your subconscious that'll make you not want to do stuff like the fight or flight stuff. Yeah. But then there's your conscious where it's just like you get in your feelings about whatever it is or in your yeah. head and you're like, mm -mm 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 -mm, and then that's just you. So, but there are times like I know exactly what you're talking about where you just, you feel uneasy. Yeah. And that, that your belly gets tight and you're just like, I gotta go. Or something go. makes you scared like, and you don't know why. Yeah. Okay. Do you think, do you think, uh, Uncanny uh, Valley do human think, pictures? Do you think a, I don't even know what that is. A gut feeling is your subconscious? I think so. Well, I think it's... Yeah, I'd say so. All right. I think it's you feeling Somewhat, something you felt before, and it's um, 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 like a remembered feeling. Remember the Titans. Also, if you experience deja vu with your conscious in human form clone beside you, your fucking subconscious could tell you exactly when. Dude, that would be so Whoa, clutch. whoa. It could tell you exactly when what? The deja vu happened the first time. If it ever happened the first time. I could tell you if it was a dream. Dude, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking culting up right now. <laughs> so hard. I'll be thinking about this all night long. Damn, you didn't think this hard on this one, did you? I thought the other direction. I, like, I like the analytic, I'm, too. I'm going, like, scary mode of, like, just how it, it would, would be. I mean, y'all's would be scary, scary it too. It would be the goddamn worst <laughs> thing ever to experience. <laughs> But you would learn so much. Dude. You really I would. Think, I think where my brain is taking it now is the... This. What is it? Oh, your little tobacco Pouch. packy? Tobacco uh, packy. Or whatever it is. Just put, it on, the, put it on the can. Don't <laughs> feed it to Leo. You don't use it? it? He doesn't need... Oh, so close. Sorry, we're taking a momentary break. Um, okay, so... More animalistic. You're talking about... Uh, the most base primal level, right? Yeah, but almost, I don't know, I almost want to take it to another level than that. But it has sensory input. It yeah. It understands so, it. Instead of just, okay, instead of just viewing it as the conscious versus subconscious. Yeah. Right, which is what we talked about doing. Do I a, mean, the whole fucking time. Do a versus of that. So that is one case. Okay. Versus the three-way split of, like, the id, superego, and ego. Mm. And how much drastically different would that be? Because, like, the subconscious is just all the things that you never, obviously, process. Mm -hmm. You will not know anything your subconscious is going to do, but your subconscious knows everything that you've ever done or will wanted to do or any of that stuff. Whereas, in the id versus the superego and the ego, 
I got that in reverse. Id, ego, and super ego. It would be like the most conscious version of yourself, the super ego, is like the things you want, yeah. how you get all prideful about stuff. Your regular ego, which is like kind of what you always are. The code you live by. Yeah, and then just your id of... Like you're just natural drive. Stripped away, to do yeah. stuff. Stripped away of all just the other you. things. No desires. Oh, you'll have desires. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> like, th- like you. You get what you're saying. Your though. id would never play drums. Your id would not oh, give a fuck. shit. It does. It's not fruitful. Yeah, right, it's not fruitful for it at all. It would only be advancement of itself. Literally, the most animalistic. Whereas your your ego. I would never want to meet my id. Your ego would be like how you I don't are think now. I would either. And your super ego. Would be how you are if you didn't have values. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like my super ego would be a dick. Everyone's super ego oh, would be a dick. Yeah, yeah just everybody's awful. super ego would be a bad guy. Because it would just be like, it would be like the id, but for all of the things you like. Yeah, way smarter. Yeah, so like where the id's just like I'm a just simple farmer, <laughs> just out here trying to live or whatever, yeah. and your ego is you currently your super ego would be like the guy with two phones. It's like trying to arrange all the stuff that you want in life and screwing other people over just to make sure you yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what would be worse. I mean, that's almost, man. No, the id is the scariest thing ever. That'd be the scariest thing to meet, man. Other than just my version of the subconscious. Which, which the, your version <laughs> of the subconscious is just is just the id with more. It's like yours is the id and the super ego combined. It's basically it's the id with all memory, with every memory and experience. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know about Other it. Other than the ones that have been traumatically blocked. Even though. It'll have those. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's it's a whole the, other It's issue. the one that traumatically blocks them. My point. Your what subconscious would fucking tell you the reasons why yeah. you couldn't handle your shit. And That's it's fucked up. It's like, well, the, your, your whatever level was reaching too high at that point, so I decided we're going to just trim in. this one out of here. Yeah, it's exactly. crazy that you can just put that shit way deep down. And not not even know that it happened. Compartmentalizing. Like, how the fuck? I That's wonder. Like, I wonder if there's something that ever happened to me. When I like that, that I don't know. Like, we, we know. wouldn't know. Exactly, you wouldn't know. That's wild. But that's another fucking. That's another. Do you have like large patches of your childhood you don't remember? Um. Yeah. So do I. Stuff like that. Like, I know a lot of people that I I, I don't really have parts. a large patch mm-hmm. that's missing, mm-hmm. but I have a few. There's a few blank spots. Yeah, you know, sure. <laughs> where it's like, eh. there's a good chance <laughs> that in those blank spots, <laughs> maybe something something happened. The subconscious had a hit. Whether it was really, whether it was truly bad or not, your your subconscious decided let's not. I feel like let's not. Get if you get one. scared sometimes and you don't know why, that could be the reason. Maybe if something happened to you, but I don't know. It's just crazy to think about. You know what? I'm fucking I'm I'm flip flopping on this one because I would love to hang out with my subconscious for at so? least a day. Just one day. I nope, think, nope, nope. Eight hours. I think five minutes. <laughs> Less than eight hours. <laughs> eight hours, me. dude. I could endure it. Also oh, so here's a challenge you say then. That now. Do you think you, I do say that now, but I've <laughs> taken a lot of hallucinogens. <laughs> do you think do you think you could handle it for uh I don't know, I can't even think of a good challenge for it. What's the longest you think you could, like, the absolute longest, like, or you'll lose everything kind of deal? Uh, 24 hours, no sleep. 24 hours, no sleep, hanging with your subconscious. I think that's the longest I could go. Because it would... I think you'd lose it. Nah, man. No, you'd lose it at that point. No, dude, it would be so enlightening. It would be like almost reaching, uh, uh, like, Nirvana or Shangri-La. I think Shangri-La. it'd be overwhelming. I think it'd be too much. No, man. You're con- you Because so you're just your conscious. Yeah, I understand that, but... You could tell it to shut the fuck up. But and would it, it listen? No. <laughs> exactly. I know how to fucking argue real well. Can you imagine it's, arguing it, with it's yourself? Definitely, it's definitely situational. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if if you looked or at person to person, if you looked at the subconscious, like you originally brought it up, which I think was a great metaphor. Like, Colton doesn't like me. No, like an autistic, like it because it would be like the uh, the ultimate. Go like literally. That yeah. is that's almost autism, like extreme autism. It wouldn't know when to stop on Not, things uh, because your conscious is what yeah, makes right, it stop, up. right? That's true. That's true. I really feel like I'd lose my shit after like 10 or 15 minutes. You're right. I rescind, I rescind 24 hours. I'll go a full hour. Yeah. <laughs> One you, full you cut hour, down 23 but hours. But I would ask it the hardest questions. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd have to. I need to know dude, shit. I'd need prep time. Like, I'd need to know. You need to make a list of questions. Yeah, I, oh, no, no, fuck no that. not even a that. Voice recorder. Yes. Yeah, I don't even need that as much as I need to mentally prepare myself 
for what it, it would be like do you like serial killers yeah okay yeah. you get to go meet ed kemper you, you get to meet ed kemper <laughs> you get to oh, meet ed oh, kemper right fine. now colton's doppelganger that was dark headed <laughs> uh, he hates that <laughs> shit uh, <laughs> so i've seen mine hunter that's all subject okay. yeah that's right. literally well, that, where that's I got why the that's why i brought it up too is because it's something so freakishly different than you yeah mm -hmm. and you're only gonna have how much ever time like, you wouldn't want to be with him for 24 hours definitely not fuck no exactly not me. <laughs> so I'd, I'd view that as like the same thing like but it's not though it's gonna be more enlightening than that because it's you, but it's yeah. your it's your Ed Kemper. I don't think so. You don't think so? No, because he could tell you why you're killing kids in your dreams. Oh, for sure. I'm sure he it could sure tell could, you why. But that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I understand that reason too. Though. You know what I mean? <laughs> Consciously, I understand that why I had that dream. Um, I see. I can understand dreams what you dreams. mean by the the Ed Kemper version of yourself. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. Because, like, he, he, the morals and, like, his values upon human life or his life were so skewed the opposite direction of yours, of, of, of a regular human being. Right. Like, yeah. yours or And Chinese it's extreme, too. And not it's just, extreme, yeah. Not just the opposite of you, but the most, like. He, exactly. Polar. He's dreaming, man. Oh, Big that is snores. the cutest thing ever. Big snores from Leo. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's, he's freaking you know, this, out. This is three episodes in a row. He's been fucking guest appearance. Guest spot. <laughs> Can't see him, though. He's behind you. I don't. I, I really think you could learn almost anything. Almost anything you'd want to know about yourself from your subconscious. Would you really? Oh, no doubt. Oh, excuse would. me. Not almost. Anything. Anything. That, anything. That then begs the question is, what would you, why would you want to know? More understanding It's yourself. almost like the Rocco's Bass list thing also, of the <laughs> info hazard. Also, this goes, this is so person to person, because obviously from your questioning, you wouldn't want to know everything, right? Well, I think I would, but I don't know if I truly I would truly want to know, would. and then I would want to forget again. You know what I'm saying? But truly wanting to know is a conscious thought. Yeah, but <laughs> enlightenment but comes really? at costs. For sure. So I'm willing to pay that price, man. Are you willing to absolutely change dude. everything you know about everything? Absolutely, everything will feel different. No, I'm with that. It's like Neo finding out he can control the goddamn Matrix. But he what if it's it. the opposite of that feeling? What do you mean it's the opposite of that feeling? Yeah, I would. I like, would feel more existential and jaded I was about and to fucking say, shamed. You're, you're, it's <laughs> like you're pitching it like you're gonna feel more in control, but I feel like what would actually happen is you'd be like. You'd feel more segregated from everything than you did before. You'd be like, oh my gosh, why is that even... Man, you can just call me a fucking scientist or adventurer because I'm with it. I mean, more power to you, dude. Go do <laughs> it. I'm with that shit. I, I mean, would, I might be too. Yeah. I would this love is, to know all the it's dumb one shit. Of those I would like to know just to forget. It's one of those things where I'd be like... <laughs> like You'd never forget. <laughs> no, You'd, you'll remember problem. forever. <laughs> yeah. Really. That's one of those decisions where it's like, even though you're going to do a whole bunch of like thinking and planning on it, mm -hmm. it, you won't really make it until you make it. Oh, yeah. You'll never yeah. fully prep for it. Yeah. Right. So it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, no matter how much you do, that truly that your mind will be made up in the moment. Because, you know, some decisions you'll be like, I, you know what you're going to do way in advance. Split. Yeah. Split decision. But this one's going to be like, or snap decision, excuse me. I'm not going <laughs> to do it. And you're just going <laughs> to yeah. run away from whatever. Well, I mean, first off, Daedric you'd have to get off the hurdle because we 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 preface this with it would be the a, a literal literal clone of yourself. Yeah, so you got to get off. You got to get up that hurdle alone. You know what I mean? I don't, you got to sit and talk to yourself, Colton. You, as a person who's never done hallucinogens, okay, you've never done them, right? Right. Correct. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. As a person who has and had the worst trip of my life. By staring at myself in the mirror and touching my features on my face and they're not feeling proportionate to what I'm seeing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm looking in the mirror. Like, there's a delay or I'm, it doesn't feel no, like you're touching where you're touching? I'm touching my nose, but feels it longer. feels that big. Ooh. It feels like almost nothing. I've kind of felt that feeling before from being drunk, but never, like, real drunk. I've felt like that before. How long did you feel like that? Oh, six hours. Fuck. Six hours. Fuck. Fuck. Six hours. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know how you lived through that. I don't either. Probably. I was in my. Was it truly six hours or was it? Oh, I don't know. I don't like know. No, 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 right. no. I tripped for nine and a half hours because I started a timer. 
That's called experience, baby. <laughs> This, is not, his, this is not Keith's first rodeo. It was it was, like my, it was like my eighth time taking hallucinogens, and it was, I mean, it kind of ruined me for years, man. You were going scientist mode. Nah, yeah, you're right, because I took more than the recommended amount, <laughs> because I just wanted what to What do see. they call that, a macro dose? Probably, yeah. I, th- I think they call it fucking yourself up. <laughs> 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 Big time, because I did. Like, I after the mirror thing, I had to step in the shower, like, so I could try and sober up like because my i don't know i don't know i don't know <laughs> you tried <laughs> my fucking subconscious was like maybe water will help you and uh <laughs> your subconscious i tried like, to go to sleep on acid so whatever you oh, do man, it's almost impossible you yeah. tried to sleep on it yes. how did that work um it didn't, didn't work did you your, your eyelids like peeled back it, like tuna cans I, I think i laid there with my eyes open tried to sleep i was about to say i doubt you ever closed your eyes <laughs> uh but i got in the shower and just screamed for i mean I don't know how long I was in there. Who? Where? No, where like was good home? There. I was, okay, I was at the okay. house on 18. Oh, okay. okay. So you had to Neither yourself, one of my though. parents were there, okay? I was goddamn losing it, dude, <laughs> in, the, in, the <laughs> in the shower. Like, yet, like, panic yelling. Like, someone's coming after me yelling, or I'm, or, you know what I mean? Like, just something. Like, you, I was about to experience my death. Fight or flight. <laughs> you, were, you were full on, like... Yes, but I was complete. I could completely bloody murder. It. I could completely. Were you comprehend screaming bloody it. murder? You know what I mean. I could understand the 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 instinctual. Kick I think because the hallucinogen was like maybe in a truer sense, like your subconscious was more at the wheel, and you were just watching, and you're like, and your subconscious is like, fuck, <laughs> and it's just like <laughs> freaking out. But also, so like, may right. I've I've led like group trips before, you know what I mean, where everybody takes a, a, a three and a half grams of mushrooms, and I'm the fucking camp counselor, you know what I mean? Like I'm the uh, father or whatever, you know, the cult leader or whatever. I am Master General Sergeant, Keep Lieutenant the cult Major leader. <laughs> of the trip. You didn't even and say Master Chief. I'm upset. No, You're not even the Halo I dude. F- I don't fuck with Halo, bro. I don't like Halo. This shit's either. gay, bro. All right, get out of my house, all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> get out. No, uh, Peace. Call of Duty World of War. Black Ops As a 2. throwback. <laughs> Black Ops 2. And I played it on the Wii. <laughs> Black Ops 2. <laughs> on the Wii. She just what kept leaning in. Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2. The mic disappears. I know. Black Ops 2. That's a, that's a good she one just, too. She that's a good it, one too. So, Actually, COD 4 was probably the best one. I think one. Black Ops 2 is my favorite. Anyways. First Modern Warfare is probably the best one. Um, Sorry. Sorry. Um, but yeah, and I, a couple of times, really the last one that I did, because I know not everybody recognized me as the, oh yeah, I can, I can maintain the peace if anybody's going fucking wild. You know what I mean? So I got everybody to sit around this concrete table and place their hands on the table. And you handcuffed them to it. <laughs> That'd be awesome. To the concrete it table. It was a round table. There was no <laughs> rivets or fucking. I couldn't oh. it. But uh, everybody placed their hands then on the you table. Would be a cult leader. And I was like, look, because I experience this feeling every time I trip, but my body, or at least my head, maybe my spinal column, I don't know, but it always wants to go like this. Like it always wants to raise slightly. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And sometimes. Posture up. Sometimes. No. Sometimes it goes down too. Okay. <laughs> And I was trying to explain this to everybody. This a seizure? As, oh as best as I could. So I was like, everybody put your hands on the table. A couple deep breaths. And I was like, breaths. The table's not there anymore. Nobody felt the table there anymore. Though they were touching it. You know what I'm saying? Were they already high or was this preparation? Everybody was tripping. Okay. Everybody at this gotcha. table was tripping. Everybody, and it was all, we all took it at the same time. You were commanding people's futures. There you go. That sounds fun. There you go. And it was just like, because everybody took the same type of psilocybin mushroom, which I advocate highly because it will, it, it bridges the gap between your consciousness Less variables. and variables. Yeah, okay, inexperience. I mean, it's just you doing less variables. If everyone's <laughs> taking the same shit, then... Yeah, I don't know for sure, but I mean, how the fuck are we going to get eight different types of mushrooms? <laughs> I don't know. On a single Not night. A point. That's crazy as hell. I don't but, know how this works. Go to the store. Everybody took the same type <laughs> and... I feel like you call a guy that knows that a guy. kind of uh, you know bonded us in a certain way to where like I was having extreme visuals and I'm fairly certain a few others were and I was seeing hieroglyphics in in like structures. Where are you at? I was at a buddy's house outside. 
we were outside the whole time. But I was at a buddy's house, and I swear to God, we sat down at this table. I was the first one to sit at this table, okay? And I'm seeing hieroglyphics on the table, and then I'm seeing hieroglyphics on walls that aren't there. You know, I'm seeing corners of a building that I'm in, but there's nothing there. That's wild. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm trying to get a hold of myself, and I could, I could switch between them. You know what I mean? Mm-mm. You understand what I'm saying? Switch between what Mm-mm, the scared and the in control. <laughs> no, I'm not. Switch between realities. There you in go. a way, there so you, you go. could go back to I could, reality. I could snap like, back to reality. Could, oh, there goes gravity. Man, you've really shat on me this whole podcast, dude. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn, big dick swinging. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, man, I could. I I, I was in control of it. Completely. Like I w- the, the drugs weren't doing me. It's almost you like a lucid them. dream, but you're not dreaming. Slick. Slick. I've never done shrooms, though. Like, <laughs> All right. Okay. <I'm> fucking. <laughs> All right. 23-year-old. <laughs> calm down with the I'm shroom to talk. i We're saying. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it goes downhill from there. Yeah, I know. But well, yeah, I man. Know. I just have that's, the same. That's one of the things that I could. Uh, you know, I could uh, draw off of with the subconscious and versus conscious thing, like meeting your subconscious. Like, I feel like. Could you, you kind of? Would did. you want to do that while tripping? Kind of. No, fuck no. no. You would go. You now. Hell, Freak the fuck no. out. You would go insane if you were hallucinating by poisoning yourself with mushrooms or just taking acid or whatever the type of hallucinogen you want yeah. to. And then you meet a human form of your subconscious. Now that's a whole different fucking story. Different that ball game, you're going baby. insane. You are shipped off to what's the place in Bolivar, Western State? Pathways. Western State. Western State used to be. I think it still kind of is in Bolivar. Yeah, I don't they think they really do They anything. have a different building now. Yeah, there's, if you want to do some real spooky stuff, try to get into the old Western State building. Where that at? In Bolivar. You really aren't good with context clues, are you? Um. Okay. First off, <laughs> he said <laughs> we were talking about current. He said the old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's they, like they, the same. They moved. They moved. Same okay, land building. Ever? It's um, all connected through a laundry tunnel, and the old one's like abandoned and creepy, yeah, like Grave Encounters. Good. You ever seen Grave Encounters? Mm-hmm. That's a good there one. There you go. Kind of good. That. It's um funny. It is funny. <laughs> yeah, man. I just think uh, it's funny. I, I think it's obviously a person by person thing. You know what I mean? I like, think it is too. I'm just gonna use you for example. It's just funny. Jenny, because Colton doesn't give a fuck anymore. Yeah, I can Colton. see. I no, can, he hurt my feet. I can see he, his face. He hurt my feet. I, I, I can. I can see. His face. <laughs> I'm a he now. <laughs> I'm a he. You it's identify as a he, okay? okay? You're not a he, but you identify as one. He and him. That one. is my pronoun. He and him. <laughs> Z and Zim. That's what you're gonna call. <laughs> they. It. It's Gentry, not Jenny. Oh. My goodness. I'm thinking on your toes there. You could like be. That. You Montgomery could be a Gentry. gentry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Should beat you to that one. Yeah. Sorry. I did. Montgomery. Was, I did. That, that was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud. She, I'm she proud. said that so loud. I did. <laughs> That's all me. All me. Baby. I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I don't understand if people get like this. People think the nuances of the show are as funny as we do. You know what I mean? And it's, Jenny's in on the magic now. Yeah, yeah. She, is, she, knows, <laughs> she knows what it's like. Yeah, she's seen behind the curtain. <laughs> It's, it's, There's no prep to this show. It's worth uh, it. We just I have, like we it. Just have I fun. like the raw, the raw shit. Old dirty bastard style, motherfuckers. I, that's exactly raw. what played in my head, <laughs> too, right? Oh, baby. Like, yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I think it's a person to person thing. Like, say, say, Jenny and I, <laughs> well, same room. Octave change. Fucking. Say, say. Just a, the lights flash, and then Jenny's subconscious is in human form right in front of her. My subconscious is in human form right in front of me. We would react, I mean, polar oppositely, probably. Completely You know different. what I mean? And that was a weird sentence to say, polar oppositely, probably. That was oh, a time to say that three times In fast. the middle of little Italy dip. Yes. <laughs> yes, dude, big pun. Uh, Have you seen the video of him recording that? No. Oh, it's fantastic, dude. I was, I, I I was so it. amazed when you sent me that. Because I watched it this morning because I was almost half asleep when you were texting me. I like that me verse. Last that's a great song. Amazing. There would be no Fat Joe without Big Pun, though. It happens. Both Puerto Ricans. I, do, I thought you ripped one right then. No, it's just. You it's thought just I did? Tone. Not no, you. me. Come on. It's hey, came too... oh, past me. She is, yeah, I mean, she is Gentry now. Yeah. <laughs> she just, she's one of the boys now. Z Zim Zay Gentry. 
I don't know why it's it and they, my pronouns. Oh, God. <laughs> That's another thing I have problems with, too. I'm sorry. Well, my, my pronouns? You have problems with my pronouns? Yeah, but how would you react? How would you react to meeting? How can you say? Um, I honestly think. A little bit. I mean, kind of. but You can, you can uh, assume. You know what I mean? How would you assume you would react? My first reaction, um, like, I, I would just be, like, curious. I would just want to know. I would just want to know everything, like, I would ask, like, is there something that happened to me? Do I need to know something? Speak to me, bitch! Or, <laughs> or you could just ask, like, anything you want to. Like, why do I feel this way when I do whatever? And then you could fix that. You could fix how you are. You could change your whole being. If you don't like something about you, you could figure out how, why you're like that and then change everything about you. Yeah. Self-care. Self-care. <laughs> but I really would only talk. Uh, nice. I would really only just want to be with my subconscious for 10 minutes. I feel like I couldn't handle any more than that. Oh, he's, it would just, he's getting tangled in the mic. Cord. Don't you feel like it's okay, Colton? <laughs> don't freak out, buddy. <laughs> he's going to run. Take another he's, shot he's and gonna chill. Just like punch Jenny in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> don't um, knock my teeth out. <laughs> so you think, okay, with that, that line of reasoning, you think you... You would be curious for mm -hmm. sure, right? You'd want to ask ask a ton of questions. But do you know how fucking precise your questions would have to be? You would have to go because, in detail. Yeah, for sure, because they would rattle off yeah. a thousand things. Yeah, like a genie. They could yeah. have multiple, <laughs> they could like have multiple answers for your questions, but if you're not specific enough, then they're not going to be as detailed as you want to be. Yep, there you go. I guess that, that kind of makes me think of another question, though, since you guys... Thinking about, thinking about it like it's a library, right? Right, yeah. like a it's a library of you. It's yeah. like a, a but a library is only as good as the person that can find the information. Exactly. You gotta have a good, so, have a good librarian. Do you think they would be a shitty librarian, or do you think they would just be like Z -Z 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 this is what you're talking about? Like, do I think my subconscious would be a shitty librarian? Yes. Do you think your subconscious would be able to? Or would you Your have subconscious is the wackest Dewey Decimal System of all <laughs> yeah, time? Yeah, like just has no <laughs> idea where anything is. It's like, <laughs> Your Dewey Decimal System's written in fucking like Hindu hey, or some shit. We, we, we established they're autistic, so I mean, well, I don't no, know how good I this mean, is if, gonna go. If they're autistic, I guess they would be either on top of it or just. Well, I mean, they already hold all the knowledge. Yeah, uninterested in answering. What if that's how it is? Like oh, instead, of, instead of it just just spewing stuff out to you, it's like everything's meaningless to it. It's just locked, like it's just locked down. God bless. I could spend a lot more time with it then, because I'd, yeah. I'd break it down, and then I would go insane. What? What if you just did? I feel like demise. I would get intimidated. That's. You, I think either way, though. That's yeah. kind of more if, along the lines of what I was trying to say with the animalistic thing, though. Like, what if it just wasn't? Yeah, but if the animal didn't care the about id what you're talking about, if it felt threatened by you, you're oh yeah, you're screwed, it'd dude. Fuck, it'd kill you. It wouldn't it, think a fucking second. Not even about if it, it is you, part of you. Well, that's a good. That's another good segue of a thing I wanted to touch on while we talked about it. Speak to me, baby. If, Talk because if me, it is just the id and it doesn't have any of the other parts of you, or if it's just like animalistic, it has no limitations mm. for sure. Because like you, if you punch somebody, still like conscious, Hurts. you're like. Out. You're not going to hit them as hard as you possibly can. Why not? You probably won't. <laughs> you just probably won't, unless you're like in fear for your life. Yeah. But even then, there's probably still a cap you're putting on yourself. Okay. Like imagine going to work out. If you if you worked out as hard as you actually possibly could, the amount of like gains you would make versus mm -hmm. if you're like a normal person, you're going to reach comfort limit. And like as soon as it's uncomfortable. Because you know you can leave. You know you can leave. But it's going to be like 100% output on whatever it does. Yeah, to the fullest, no matter like what. It's, it's not going to be like, I don't know if I should. It's going to be like, go. And it just does yeah. whatever it is. Damn, that is fucked up. Well, yet again, we kind of come back to the, this. Is, man, this is going to sound really bad for people that are like. Well, the, this podcast isn't linear. Ad at advocates all. of like. It's going. It's not linear at all. Well, for people that are like mental health, not mental health, mental health is not the right word. It's going to sound like I'm bashing people with mental issues. But what I'm saying is like you've Speaking heard- Speaking as one, right? You've heard the term <laughs> like retard strength before, right? For sure. It would be like Like that. crackhead strength, you exactly. know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because there is no- 
whatever's you is not on top of it. Like when you're cracked out, it's the same basic thing. Like when you're drunk, you're, you can, you're invincible. You know, you think you can do whatever the fuck you want. And you can. <laughs> <laughs> you can. There's limitations. Oh, me. But I, I do like feel it, that, it, though. It takes four grown men to detain a methed out person. Like four grown police officers. You know this from experience? <laughs> Vicariously. Last episode, we talked about doing meth, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Y'all talked about doing it? Mathematics. It? Yeah, mathematics. That's mathematics? what it was. Mathematics? Yeah. <laughs> I like I that. I mispronounced that. No. I don't I, when you what said it, you might not have done it. Impergonate. I oh, fucking man. lost Impergonate. it. I lost it. Impergonate. 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 That shit's so funny, dude. I, I fucking died. It's, um, I love how we're doing callbacks to old episodes. <laughs> I mean, hey, we're an hour back. 44 in, so. Damn, this is going to be the longest one. This is a good one. This is going to be the longest one. Now. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, G. Fuck yeah. All right. She didn't. I didn't say it. What other fuck? I don't care. Look, I'll give y'all both one. <laughs> there we go. Bada bang. Uh, uh, that was like so gay. <laughs> Still is. It was uh, fucking gay. Slam that motherfucker. Oh god, <laughs> that shit hurt. Did you, I, I bet it picked up on the mics. You popped my knuckle. It probably it picked up and hurts. <laughs> she hit right here. I did. Mm. I popped that motherfucker finger. That motherfucker finger. I put that motherfucker finger. You mumbled halfway through that shit. Still hurt every bit of oh, it. Oh, what's every that? That just reminded me of that point. childish Gambino song. And I'm gonna be oh. oh no, I got my cool on. Sorry, man. Sorry. I don't know what that is. Not a big childish Gambino know. guy. I don't know either. I've heard it though. Anyways, Imperganate. Imperganate. <laughs> I think it would just be a, a terrible thing. I don't know if I'd really want to meet my subconscious or my id or whatever you want to call it or however it ends up breaking down. I think overall I would be fine with it. Just not a long amount of time. You know what I'm saying? What if like the only way you could meet it was to spend an entire day? Well then and I'm going to do, like, do it, but I'm going to hate it. I mean like as close as we are in this room all the time. I feel like no separate. You go to the bathroom; it's right there with you. I feel like after such amount of time, you would just be like, "All right," and tune it out. Just be like, "Shut the fuck up," because it's you. I don't know. Maybe consciously, maybe. you could decide to do that. Yeah. though. maybe. But it's outside of your body, you know. I mean, like, that's true, though. That's the power you have over it. It couldn't tune you out ever, ever. So, <laughs> but also, it's just, My kid does that it's just it built crazy. different. <laughs> what? No, no, anytime you like. Should Anytime something's it. understood or like, like hell yeah, <laughs> yep, I got it from Adventure cheek, Time. Cheek. I think, dude, do you watch that too? I have How much Jake love tattooed to him, baby. Right there. I could punch your buns. I have Jake tattooed on me. Come on, man. <laughs> he does have Jake right he there. He really were right there. Right there. Mar I've got a I've got a tattoo that does. It's it's not Marceline, <laughs> but her name's Marceline from Adventure Time. Nice. I love that shit. That's really cool. Show is made for adults. Are you being bro. sarcastic? <laughs> Hey man, he he he'll knock it all day long, but that show's made for adults. I it like was. I like it's Adventure not made for kids. I Adventure, I mean, um, regular show's not made for kids either. Nope, was not. Not sitting up to chairs next time. Oh, what Michael what? Thornhill loves regu regular regular. I show. love that regular shit. show. <laughs> regular regular. He loves regular show. Yeah, Me I and my uh, sister love that shit. Oh yeah, I got a head tattoo. My other side of my head tattoo. Did it hurt? Can I ask that now? Did it hurt? Pivot. Okay, pivot around. Let them see. Oh, yes. A little bit more. There you oh, go. Now yeah. there's a full spectrum. They've seen it all. What is that? It is, um, there's a Instagram page called Nature is Metal. Yeah. And they posted this image of a ram and the sad but true product of evolution or just progressive growth. And this ram's horn was growing in it, into its own eye socket. Oh, shit. It represents whatever it represents to me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to explain that here. Yeah. But um, you should. I mean, just don't get caught up in yourself. You know what I mean? Okay. There you go. Simple. That was just, deep. But that's you as, know? That's as, as simple far as, as you need to it. go. You know? Like, beliefs change all the time. Um, but I saw this image, and I saw they made a logo out of it, like, for, for T-shirts. And, you know, it's drawn and shit. And I was like, man, that's fucking... Man, I'm going to have a hard time carrying so you to Christian brutal. gigs from this point forward. You will. You're right. <laughs> but I'll wear a hat. Nah, don't wear a hat. I'll wear a hat, man. Don't let him let him enjoy it. Nah, man. You'll get witnessed to a lot more. It's appropriate. That's true. I also get discriminated against a lot more too. It's oh. just you though. Yeah, that won't happen to us. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying it's just you. I'm saying that's just like your tattoos are you though. Like you yeah. don't have to hide that shit. Yeah, I mean, I have the word "motherfucker" tattooed on me. M U F U C K. Where is that? It's uh, on the front. I'll show you right now. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it right now. I'll show you in a minute. God. It's God. on my dick, dude. God, Colton. <laughs> can't fucking Colton? Did you just Co- call me Colton? Colton. Did I? Oh, man. That is We're not pronouncing the L. No We're not pronouncing the L anymore. No, I, that makes me happy because I used, I used to get called that sometimes. Colton. 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 I don't remember who used to call me that, but people used to call me that. Maybe it was me. Subconscious. No, it was but. never you. <laughs> I know. But the tattoo artist I go she to, shout out to Noah Morris at the Black Door Black Studios Door. I remember in Dyersburg. That. He's, I mean, he does the best work ever. It's, it's just him, looking. just him in the shop. He's always booked up for like two months in advance. Damn, he's fantastic. Does fantastic work. Did the first side of my head. Did this side. Did my Cthulhu. I don't think I've seen the other side of your head. It's a, it's a. Why oh, do I not demon? remember it's a Japanese your Cthulhu? Demon. Japanese demon or ish myth- mythological being. You like Japanese shit like that? I love it. Uh, dude, I told you what I'm getting for my back piece. No. <laughs> you getting a whole no. back? No. Whole back. Seppuku. I don't know what that is. Uh-uh. I'm getting a man. Killing himself? Disemboweling himself. Correct? Mm-hmm. In the, in the stance. I like it you know, already. Are you going to be a sumo wrestler? No. Okay. Sumo re- Yakuza member, dude. Why would I be a sumo wrestler? They're fat Yakuza. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> <laughs> we live in modern times. <laughs> there could be a fat yakuza sumo wrestler. That's true too. But you just that make would money. be ri- that's true. You know how popular you'd be in Japan? I'd be a god. Exactly. <laughs> Did I want to go to Japan? Shout out Japan. Uh, I'd be a god. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting a guy committing seppuku by dis- disemboweling himself. It'll be him with the little katana. I don't know what the name of it is right now. Um, you know, blood falling out, and then a guy in the background. Oh, you're gonna have the second. Yeah, it, it'll be. It'll, it'll have a, a guy full samurai gear, with the with the katana. The honorable death man with the, with the mercy strike. Yeah, and it'll be classic Japanese, like traditional Japanese cherry blossoms, and uh, you know all the shit. I mean, you got <laughs> you got plenty of space. So, oh, for sure, dude. I'm a can- I made that joke to my ta- ta- made that joke to the guy tattooing me, dude. I was like, bro, I got. I mean, infinite canvas almost, bro. Infinite. <laughs> My surface area is large. Um, yes, oh, it hurts. It's, okay, it hurt. I, um, I thought it, I thought you, it, you would say it would hurt. It's I'm gonna the, this side. Way. I want to candidly. Worse. Is there more explain. detail on? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to this interrupt. side. This side's more detailed. When he got the first one done, mm-hmm. he bitched about it. For so long about how much it hurt. Imagine yeah. sc- like, I'm, I'm telling you to imagine scabbing on your head. It's scabbed right now. Like, when did you gre- you just recently Sunday. got that Sunday past Sunday. Oh, excuse me, past Saturday. So has it fully scabbed or what? yeah? It's not even fully peeled yet. They had like a numbing cream for him this go around though. So yeah, all right. So, okay, I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Butter. I'm pushing you forward. Just came all over me. What did you just um, call it? I, well, it's not it's not a numbing cream. I had to get a numbing cream Did when I got mine hustle done. Hustle butter? Yeah, it's a healing tattoo cream that they give you. Um, I get mine whenever I get mine done, but it's called hustle butter. Okay, that hustle too. butter. That too. That should Shout be working. Shout out to hustle butter. I mean, just shamelessly oh, oh. plug whatever the fuck you want. We Jenny. Plug I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. Um, We're plugging everything. I mean, here uh, we are plug trying me, to get plug the podcast. I know, man. No uh, response. <laughs> this is an I'm ad sorry, for dude. everything. It's an ad for life. Uh, Don't yes. Do it. So he was he he guinea pigged me. I was gonna be his guinea pig because he had this. You get ointment. When yeah. You get tattooed, yeah. right? Because it's to yeah glide across the skin yeah. better. Um, he had a numbing ointment, and it's like fifty dollars for two ounces. But you can't of feel it. that shit at all. Mm. Well, on your head it might be he different. Did, we did the entire outline of it, and obviously around the ear. Yeah, yeah, was yeah. The wow, goddamn we... worse. I'm using I can that imagine with all the vitriol I have. It was horrifyingly painful. Even um, with the cream? No, no, no. Oh, okay. This is the outline. He did the whole outline and he was like, "All right, man. Now we're going to use the cream because it can because it can see yeah, cuz it can seep in, you know, spread across mm-hmm. more. He doesn't have to use as much because there's open there's you know, it's a wound now." Yeah. And we took a 10 minute break after he applied it. Got back down and he started shading the top of the horn which is kind of close to my ear and he started going down that way didn't feel a fucking thing man took all the edge off of it man didn't it seriously f- does just pressure I, th- this just tattoo pressure, I got right here I could just feel him stretching feel my skin that's it 
That's it. That's beautiful. It was fantastic. But I bit off more than I could chew because there's red in it. Mm-hmm. It wasn't going to be. <laughs> he was like, hey, man, would you like to put some red in it to kind of match the other side and contrast the black and gray? And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do Why it. Why not? And I could see the finish line. You know what I mean? I could see me in my car, like, going the fuck home, <laughs> like, being able to relax finally, not clinching and trying to, like, dive into my pillow How the long pain. did it take? Six hours. Five hours. Five and a half hours. That's not bad. It's not. He's fucking- Five hours total or five hours on the- Whatever five the hours, table. five hours getting tattooed. That gotcha. is not. It bad. was about six and a half hours with all the breaks and the and yeah. Because like me and him have a pretty good rapport. You know what I mean? Right. We talk a lot. It's kind of a hangout when you know people like that that tattoo you. Exactly. And I got down to get the color done, dude, and it was the most painful part. Just the, the red. Cre- the, did the red. Cream part? Just the red. At that point, I wonder why. Yeah, the, cr- the cream was worn off. I don't know. Probably. And, it was um, at least lessened. At that definitely point. That lessened. Cr- that, that numbing cream, though, is... I wish I could use it on all my tattoos. Because it's like a lidocaine Vaseline. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You can feel the pressure, but it's literally just something vibrating on you. Yeah, it doesn't feel like, like you're getting stabbed yeah. a thousand times. Do you have any tattoos? Over and over again. No. None at all? No. He's no. Jewish. He can't get married in a Jewish yeah, cemetery. Right. Jewish, really? body. No, I'm not Jewish, really. <laughs> I'm, I'm the most... I am Seth Rogen. I'm the most... <laughs> no, his last his real last name was Huntberg. <laughs> That's true. All right. We barely All escaped right. no, Nazi no, no, Germany. No, really not. <laughs> We're definitely joking. Okay, good. Oh shit. We lost a bulb. We're, we're what pushing happened? through. Oh, he, I think he rolled over on it. We're pushing through it. Oh, he um, did. He yeah, we're, we're close. We're close to it being over. Relaxing so. all yeah, cold. But, uh, the right side, the first side, the oni, no numbing cream. It was so fucking painful, dude. And Jessica was there with me, so it probably kind of heightened it a little bit. But now I have to go alone since COVID and stuff. And dude, oh. when I got this side done, I was fucking delirious. Like I could, there was no way I was gonna be able to drive home. But this side, dude, I sat in the car, took a sig- swig Dyersburg. of water. Yeah, took a swig of water. And you're like, good. I got this. I put on fucking hardcore yeah. history. I'm ready to go. I like driving a podcast though. Like it's the best I thing love ever. that shit. It's the best thing ever. And these Talk words, radio. they're not my words, mind you. <laughs> I listened to the the, Dan full, the full the Wrath of the Cons again, and really? now I'm now I'm listening to the World War One podcast again. Blueprint for Armag- for Armageddon. It's the best podcast ever made, ever Dude, made. His are really long. They're like four or five hours. Uh, Damn, the, but the Blueprint for Armageddon content. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this uh, one's gonna be two, which is World hey. War One stuff. S- six parts, and each part is over three hours long. But that, you have something to listen to. Oh, yeah. I listen like, to it at work all day. All, all day the time. Long. All day long. The only time I pause it is when I have to talk to my manager. That's the only time. I listen to too many audiobooks instead of podcasts. I listen to audiobooks, too, better. but I like to Hell read. Yeah. Like I like to flip pages. I don't I mean, know. I do, too, but I never find the time to sit there and read anymore. Same. So. Okay. So, are you big into H.P. Lovecraft? Um, I'm not big, big into it, have but... You, have you read any of the stories? Um... I've read a couple, but I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, like, the titles. Like, I've read them when I was younger. Okay, But yeah. the, the biggest thing that I'm into right now with him is Lovecraft Country. Okay. But Well, you know the creature? The Sagoths? Uh-uh. What? No. What episode are you in? Um, I'm... Haha, your, your throat did it then, or mouth, whatever it was. Oh, what I did. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm on the... Okay, um... <coughs> I'm right after the girl, like I haven't called up, I'm right after the the black girl is with, she falls in love with the white guy, but it's just the sister, you know, um, nah. morphing into him, making right, her right. stuff look like him. So That's like where I'm at right now. Episode? I need to go back and restart it and watch it all the way through, but I'm telling you, I'm not that far into it. I, I can, hate to say it. You can ask Jessica Colton, because she'll vouch. I... Was bawling like a baby for the second episode. On the second episode, when, when, the, when the uncle died. dies, I because w- they play fucking the river by uh, oh he didn't God. have to die. Uh, the uh, Leon Bridges, yeah, oh. to the river. It was so I dramatic. Was fucking crying it was so dramatic. So and they come hard. up to the car, and the girl's in the back seat, and she knows. Yeah. You know, she's it's already brutal. she already knows, and then it cuts. It's brutal. And I'm like, what the fuck. It's so brutal, man. He didn't have I to do me in, like that. I so I'm going to have to watch tour. Lovecraft Country. Yes. Me. Fantastic. Watch Did Lovecraft you get Country. HBO? I said Lovecraft. Not through, oh, your, Lovecraft. Said. Not through your Amazon. No. We should. Ha- speaking of and Amazon. And then we can split the payments. Well, I have it. Y'all I have just it, log I have it through Conley's. 
Hold on, wait. We all just sharing. What did you just say right there? I said, I, y'all don't say in. that on mic anymore. They'll you can find just you. log into hers because it's multi profiled. Multi pop. We get. <laughs> <laughs> what a diss. <laughs> we. <laughs> What a jam. Y'all love having me on here and all because I like it. Or it's no. Pretty chill. It's pretty chill. <laughs> it's, it's nice. It's pretty chill. Um, we, okay, speaking, nice. of, speaking of Amazon and scary movies, have y'all watched the, uh, it's like four movies in a row. One's called The, the Eye. The Rise of Jeff Bezos. Um, fuck no. Fuck Jeff Bezos. <laughs> 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 no, uh, big word and little thought. Do not represent uh, Jenny Woods' uh, views. <laughs> Jeff Bezos, please. You are the Lord. We, <laughs> we worship you. You heard it here first. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> we, okay, again, big word, little thought. <laughs> 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 no, We're not representatives of the Jenny Woods. <laughs> 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 I swear to God, dude. We're going to do that every episode, I swear. <laughs> Just a really fast... <laughs> Fine print. I wish, spoken. man, if I was better at video editing, it'd just We've be a pause like right here. when she says it. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, that's gotta go. We're <laughs> gonna I'm get gonna electrocuted. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug it in. <laughs> just oh, plug, that, plug it back in. I think you pulled it from the, the bottom. How are you chilling on it? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a loose socket. Ah. It's not even his fault. <laughs> He's freaking out now. Dang, Leo, we sorry. Sorry, sorry Bubba. Okay, it's a loose socket, guys. Oh, back to the original program. Always make sure your sockets are tight. Keep that socket tight. One moment later. One, un momento later. And you got anything? You got anything else, dude? No, I think we thoroughly covered. I mean, we beat the shit out of <laughs> everything I know how to cover and more. We covered Honestly, like all kinds we of horror about stuff. It. I mean, we spoiled at least six movies. This is this is how we, we treat people that actually listen to the podcast. Hell yeah! Hey, fuck yeah! Much appreciation too, man. Dude, was, I love fun. it. I love it. Oh, speaking of that, I'm not doxing people. I'm not going to call anybody out on this, but it fucking rubbed me the worst Uh-oh. way possible. Oh, all right, so I'm going to address thing. the camera directly. Okay. Okay. Look Mother straight fucking in directly. I'm going to look too. That we all look <clears> at <throat> right in the office. lens. Do not ask. To be on the podcast, if you show no support, nope. okay, none. Ooh. You understand me? Unless Colton or I reach out to you personally, and this is this sounds a little hateful. I know. Don't you ever recommend yourself ever. as a guest if I have never seen you share a post, thumbs up a fucking YouTube video, comment. Yeah. Comment. Support Lo- local businesses even, and podcasts, okay? Even if you just like the ad, because I'm paying for an ad. It's going around. I, I know it's, it's going funny. around. If I see you like that, that I'll count it. I'll count it. It does count. Fair. It does count. Buy the t-shirts. And, and, and both of these people that mentioned being on the podcast have liked it. I ain't never seen nobody share nothing. Never. Sharing does help. Sharing is almost... Even if it's just that little link, that I little ad God, link. I swear to you. I think I shared y'all on Facebook the other day, and my uh, like my uncle messaged me and was like... Who the hell are these kids you listening to? <laughs> no. Who are these fat no. motherfuckers? <laughs> he, went, he went and listened to y'all and was like, they talk about legitimate shit. Aww. Kind of... <laughs> I was <laughs> my fist was out of fucking you, you, frame so hard. <laughs> oh, okay, we're, we can't. We're all it the wrong shade. We just put our fists right up in the air. So hey, fuck that. Fight the power, bro. So I was over here, except I was for over, Jeff, Jeff Bezos. I was over here for like pre pre fight like pictures. Yeah, <laughs> but, everybody. But get honestly, your dude, Mortal Kombat stance. <laughs> <laughs> Create a character <laughs> or choose your character. My choose guy, my guy, character. my guy, like has his palms facing. Yeah. Pick your player. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Have you experienced that? Because it just it it made I me mad want, for I the rest of the night. I don't want to air podcast dirty lines. Sorry, dude. But I yes, had to. I had to. I've had some frustrations. There have been times when I've been on here where I've been like, no one listens because no one interacts, and I know people do listen because I see the numbers. It's not you know. We're not Joe Rogan, but there are numbers. I right. feel like it's also because of where we're at, though. Like, Jackson isn't just Agreed. a real local place Agreed. to uh, yeah. do anything. Like, the, the shit I do, like, uh, it's oh, just weird. Oh, perfect timing. Yeah, I agree. Um, Jenny, what is, you like what is the plug, shit that you would do? Would you like to plug your social medias? Um, find me on Etsy, Fifty Shades of Jenny. I'll be making them tapestries. Fifty Shades of Jenny. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fifty Shades of Jenny, isn't that cute? I said that really fast. Is it? Is it... You said like knitting yarn kind well, of thing. Uh, it's just like yeah, I make yarn tapestries. Um, fixing them. I'm fixing to start it. making rugs. If y'all oh, want some rugs, yeah, dude. Yeah. Rugs are tight. Rugs are lit, dude. I, I can will make put anything. one in here. They I need a rug groovy. in my pool room so hard. 
Dude, Even you could go on right I, here. If you could, listen, I'm not even joking. I can make joking. you a tapestry with big word little thought written across it. I was about to say, I'm not even joking. If you could make one that will fit over, you can't see this, but there's a cloud right above us. Over here? If you, I don't care if it says big word little thought or if it's just whatever you want to do. Right. But if I could get it and where I could drape it. Oh, to where it's on screen? No, 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 no. Just to where it's in oh. the room, you know, because oh, yeah. it's just a big black fabric covered Dude, I could insulation you thing. So, like, if I could get something to, like, make it look... Because even Keith was saying earlier, he's like, you need some artwork. Yeah. <laughs> oh, truly, though. It's truly just though. wood well, paneling in here. Y'all got the right girl. I'm, I'm DIY sure, queen, I promise. so dope. DIY queen. We're splitting the cost on that one, baby. I'm, it's going to be free. Claim. We always it's not gonna pay. Be free. We no, always yeah, pay for whatever no. um, so services are provided. Etsy is 50 Shades of Ginny. Yep. And you can find... Like the numbers? Like the numbers? No, it's just 50. F I F T Y. Okay. 50 no shades underscores, of Ginny. no nothing. No. On Etsy. That's on Etsy. And then I'm getting that on Instagram too, but you can just find me on my regular Ginny Wood. On Instagram and Facebook and yeah. Twitter? Yeah. The Twitter is, yeah, I think my Twitter is Ginny Wood. Okay, cool. Nice. I don't know if people really use Twitter anymore. Not much. A lot of people you I'll be talking Libertarians mad shit use on there. Twitter a lot. <laughs> I'll be talking so, mad shit. On about there. myself mainly. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Colton, plugs? Shirts. Um, I've had a lot of people message me still, not mm -hmm. to ask for shirts, but you know, asking where is my shirt. Right. You know, please don't send your goons. I'm working on it. Don't okay. Don't send the goons. Look, that it was supposed to be two weeks. That was about a week and a half ago. Still. How yeah. do you feel about people rocking your fucking face all across town? We've. Ta I felt. I feel weird. I'm about gonna it. be wearing that shit. Like I'm with it so much. <laughs> oh, do you want to see one? Yeah. I, I don't have it oh, up I here gotta, right now. Don't let me forget to pay you before I leave. Lit. I Fuck got that, that. We make money this episode. I got that hey! money. Yeah. Uh, the shirts will shirts be in. Are coming. And, they will uh, be in. I don't know. We're gonna do something else. Eventually, we're gonna live stream. I'm Ooh. still working through. I'm still working through how to do better because I'm not satisfied with this 100. percent I like it. I think it's very. Um, people can really like vibe with it. They can vibe with it. They vibe. They be vibing. <laughs> they be vibing. That's it. That shirt plugs. All I got. Uh, they're coming. Facebooks and uh, stuff. If. Uh, yeah, our Facebooks, all of our socials are at BWLT Podcast. I'm working on reviving the Squarespace website because I can't switch the domain over to the Buzzsprout. What? Squarespace is being the a bitch, sprout? and it just won't let us take it. So I'm going to have to use a Squarespace website. That's okay. I just got to, it's going to be some more time before we have a functioning landing page. <laughs> but uh, all the socials at BWLT Podcast. 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 Right? Yeah. Personals? Uh, yeah, mine's at Hunt the Colton just about everywhere. Mm -hmm. And actually, it is everywhere at Hunt the Colton, all <laughs> one thing. And, and your audio company? We don't have to plug audio company, Hunt but it's come on, Hunt the Sound. Okay, it's Hunt the Sound. And we're going to do a band thing again soon. Oh, he's got a business card. He has card. a business card, y'all. No it way. won't focus. It probably won't focus. Oh, come the fuck on. Oh. Come the fuck oh. on. Put your hand behind it. Put your hand behind it. Oh, yeah, put your hand it. behind put it. Your She's hand totally behind right. It. She's totally right. I think it's Colton. <laughs> <laughs> it like, okay, well, I'm sorry. We'll just post a picture of it on Hunt Instagram sound, later. Colton. I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> she said, I think it's Colton that covers my face. <laughs> what an epic fail that was, dude. That was It was a good garbage. try. No, dude, that was a good try. I, I think appreciate it's been a good show. It, for sure it has. So, but, yeah, and Hunt yeah. the Sound for me, and you're what? Uh, Instagram PVPI. I want to say Poppy Lord every time that's, I see that. That's, that's exactly that's right. what it is. Poppy, Poppy Lord. PVPI underscore Lord on Instagram. Keith Yap on Facebook. That's all, right, all I got. Walk this young Get man here in a minute. Yeah, we'll go walk Leo. Um, any closing statements, Jenny? Uh, yeah, Jenny did you, you enjoy yourself? Fuck yeah. You uh, okay? Cool. Nice. I would all come right. back ten out of ten. <laughs> Hell yeah! You guys hear that? That's great. That's great. If y'all want to have me back, I know For I'm sure. kind we'll of. We'll talk about it. I interrupt Next the time we're gonna like have 25 the times. No, it's a, it's it's nice. I enjoy being. I just be talking. You do just be talking. Well, you know how that you know how them ladies are. Yeah, we just Bitches be, be shopping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches God, be that's talking. A, oh God, that was so hack. I almost said it wasn't hawk. that bad. I almost said hawk. Okay, <laughs> so it's hawk. a great day hawk. to be a hawk. Yeah. Oh no, please! <laughs> I, I said that the other day, and I was like, Ugh. It's so localized. That just hurt. Then. Um, yeah, right. guys, I don't know if you guys think about it. Comment honestly on the comment video, down below. Anything? Um, Samurai slice that like button. How would you button. feel about meeting your subconscious in a human form? What that? What would? What would that do to you? <laughs> Yeah, you hush up while I'm closing this shit out. <laughs> she said samurai slash that like button. I'm with it too. All right, well, I guess. Just just like some shit. Just share some stuff. Subscribe, rate, and review. 
Um, you know, that's that's really all we ask for. Just hit us up if you want to hear not anything. Hard. Anything that you want to hear discussed, just holler at us. Send us a message if you have to. Keith may have already said this, but I got distracted by Leo whining. If you can leave a review on whatever it is, mm -hmm. if you listen to us on Apple Podcasts specifically, mm -hmm. leave a review. Be honest. I'm not going to ask you to leave five stars. Good or bad. I don't care. Whatever you want, because your review helps us. Or you know, if it doesn't help us on that platform, it helps us to know we're not doing good. So There you go. Something. Constructive criticism. That's what we like. But yeah. Sorry, I, hope I, had to, I had to burp. That's okay. Everybody's got to burp sometimes. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it. I burped uh, like five times this whole podcast. You're going to hear me. Did go, you really? Did you I was trying to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I heard it quite a few times. I, 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 heard, I heard you do the same noise I did earlier. Yeah, like, every time I took a shot, I was like. <laughs> like that. <laughs> just like just that. Dying. Oh, real. Well, uh, you heard it here, your love. I'm going to go home and put lotion on my head. And put lotion, some lotion on the skin. On the skin. Uh, <laughs> refuse to cut my hair because I can't yet. Because it's bullshit. You grow it out. I, I did for a minute. Don't you remember yeah, that? No, I'm saying do it again. No. Do it again. I hate it. If, if you, you want again, Keith, it makes if, me look bigger. Comment down below it, if you want it, Keith yeah. to grow his hair out. Long hair does make big boys look bigger. It does. I'm sorry. Just do that. And you know who's told me that? Jessica. She was like, I don't really like you with hair. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thanks, you oh. fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. It's super focused in on Jenny at the end. The camera is just Goodness. doesn't like us, man. Who cares, man? It was a good episode. I it appreciate was. it. Thank hey, you, if Jenny. you guys haven't seen uh, Hereditary, watch that shit. Yep. 10 out of 10. I think it's 11 out of 10. I mean, 10 out of 11. What even? <laughs> uh, I, think it's, I think it's 9 11, and we never forget. And on that note, we're out of here. Peace. See ya.